What is good, everybody? From YouTube, I am live on Twitch right now, so there will be no editing. As always, this is a podcast, so I just talk and talk. Um, today, I'm going to be joined with Ethan and Alex. They're obviously brother and sister. Um, go check their out, their channels out on uh, YouTube. Ethan is what? What is what is your YouTube? The Goy Boy. The Goy Boy. Um, Alex is, I believe, is Juniper three thousand one. Correct me if I'm wrong. We might have a a late guest come in today. Um, co-owner of Colossal, uh, Mad Russian. He's amazing. So hopefully he can join us today. I'm also joined here with some Michelob Ultra and Jameson and Ginger Ale. Um, today's topics are going to be really plain for my first episode. We're going to be talking about some COVID-19, which is kind of a big yeah, deal yeah, right yeah. now. we talk about aliens or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about aliens today. Um, but we are going to be talking about COVID-19. I'm going to go over some Colossal. Fuck you. Fuck you, cowboy. <laughs> What's up, Pocahontas? Um, so, audio check. How is it, Alex? Is she still here? Good, good. Okay. So, um, I'm going to talk, talk about some colossal things, um, go over some COVID bullshit, and then probably the main topic of today will be, is the government overpowered? So you guys can always pitch in, Pocahontas, I know you're from Canada, but you can always pitch in on your own government. You know, I like hearing about the Canadian government. Um... But right now we're going to be starting with uh, in the news today. Oh boy. So let's get up the old. Oh my god, James Donahue just followed Colossal Gaming. James Donahue, huh? Yeah. So what we're going to do today. Alex, can I use your Facebook? I guess, yeah, go ahead. We're only going to be looking at CNN, the Fox, and all that bullshit. That's, that's fine. The sad part is I gotta actually search it because it's sad. We're gonna start off with some CNN news today. Let's see what's in the news in CNN. It's gotta be some good stuff, right? Oh, Georgia governor is to reopen some business as early as Friday. Damn. So, as we're talking about this COVID-19... And people's already reopening. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that right now. That's me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that that's probably ask me in my next episode on the news. Um, as some other states signal some similar plans. So. I think apparently um, PA is supposed to be like by May eighth they're gonna slowly open things. I think they're trying to test the waters, which I can I can kind of get behind that testing the waters a little bit. I just don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean just reopening it like just uh, all, just doing like a hard like we're gonna reopen everything today. It, I don't think that's gonna work, but I'm just. A... <sighs> I'm just afraid of it reopening because, you know, it could increase the spread then. Like, it's all, it's still yeah. spreading without things being reopened. That's why I'm saying it probably is okay to, like, maybe slowly do it, but I still feel like it's it, it's not going to go the way they want it to. But I don't know. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. My, my thing is, like... We definitely need to reopen because of, you know, the whole stock market and everything. Well, yeah. But then it's like, it's kind of a scary subject because what if, you know, of course I, I live with my mom right now. She's living with me, I should say. And yeah. And <laughs> I don't want her to get it. And I definitely don't want Adeline to get it, but she's my niece. She's five years old. So I don't want them guys to get it. You know, I, I don't want the, the spread to increase for the people that's not... Yeah. I, I don't know. It's just it's a scary subject. So reopening it could just increase the spread. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of my thoughts. 
But don't think it's a great idea, but um, oil pr prices turn negative. Hundreds of oil companies could go bankrupt. Well, I think some of them fucking should. You want my fucking two cents on that? Some of them should go bankrupt. Yeah. Scientists get first look inside comet from outside our solar system. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's exciting. Clearly, I actually have news that's on the there. That's the kind of news I like. Yeah, there's some news out Not there. That's terrible. Let's see what this says. So, let's see. This close for a comet pass was observed by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array of Telescopes in Chile. Known as ALMA. Okay. Chile. That's all I'm going to read on that because we want some, some juicy Okay, news. yeah. Wow. That's dumb. Wow. Read this comment. Also, the whole health situation in Canada is dumb. My coworker couldn't even get his inhaler from the pharmacy because they said it's not essential. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Our go our government, our health gov or our government isn't quite going that Holy far. Holy fuck! Can you speak today? There. No, I can't. <laughs> but hey, I'm not, I, ha I haven't even started drinking yeah. yet. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and my, my other thing with uh, so I, I'm gonna go off with some Facebook news too. So let's we'll spark some of this. Oh, the God. other the other day I seen I can't get my contacts. Wow, take on hers though. So I don't know. Maybe God, cowboy. Maybe you can order them. I don't know. She ordered. If you hers. know your if you know your prescription, Wade, or at least somewhat close to it, you can order them online. But not getting an inhaler is fucking. That is dumb. That is absolutely yeah, especially, dumb. Well, especially because COVID affects your lungs. Like, yeah. I would think of anything an inhaler would be more essential than. So, I, I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that was on my Facebook the one time. It was the fact that they people were sitting there saying that the newscasters and the governments that speak on these public televised um, stations should be wearing a mask and it just baffles me that people's gonna sit there and say that they need to wear masks while they're speaking into a microphone all right yeah that's not gonna work listen, yeah has, I'm not gonna has, sit anyone... there and try to listen to Charlie Brown's mom speak on a television okay I'm not gonna sit there and listen to a... I'm not gonna understand them all right look I'm deaf as it is bro I can barely understand mm -hmm. Alex when she speaks and she speaks very clearly why are you gonna wear a mask when they're speaking? They probably wear a mask offset. Like I don't want to know the weather outside if someone's wearing a mask because I ain't gonna understand it. Like, get that idea out of your fucking head. Don't be a fucking if, idiot. If the rock is wet, it's probably raining. <sighs> we lost it. That's the problem. Oh shit! Is there any way to actually like? I don't yeah, know. I don't, I don't know, Calvin. I don't know it's about tough. that. He legit had to have an asthma attack for him to get. Wow. That's fucked up, man. That ain't even right. That is fucked up. But like the people that are saying that you should be wearing a mask when you're on the news, they just. That's so dumb. Well, that's like they're, everyone. They're part of the problem. They aren't in a public. They aren't in a public place, so well, they don't need every... to. It's the same thing. Everyone on Hogan's videos are bitching that he's not wearing a mask, and it's like dumbasses. You wouldn't be able to hear what he was saying if unless he had a mask you're actually on. there or something. I don't even. You probably couldn't even understand it when he's there. Uh, it's and just they go the interpreter would probably get confused. The... Ooh, wait, that's not good. Yeah, I definitely need new ones. <laughs> Holy shit, so 10 years after the deep water horizon oil spill. You guys remember that? Yeah, oh god, yeah. Oil pollution has been found in thousands of fish. I'm not shocked. So, like, what if that creates a new disease? <laughs> oh my god. They're cutting open a fish right now. On, on, I know I don't have the, uh, 
display capture one, but they are opening up a fish and there's oil inside this fish. Or pollution, I should say. Oh my god, the first comment. Oil is a product of nature and we are always told nature, natural is good for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's a little funny. <laughs> <clears throat> Tom Hanks uh, recounts his exhaustion and wife Rita Wilson's nausea during the coronavirus. So if you guys don't know, um, Tom Hanks and his wife did get the coronavirus and it, it really took a toll on them. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get to more of that later uh, as I talk more about the, the virus. Yeah, I want to talk about Tom Hanks and his, what he had to say about it. Let's see. Holy shit. Uh, Navy and CDC launch investigation to coronavirus outbreak ab aboard the U.S. aircraft carrier. Wow. That would suck. Wait, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go when <laughs> fucking virus is on your ship? All right, let's uh, let's see. Let's look up some Fox News now. See what they got to say about anything. Let's see. Hello, more viewers. Oh, I'm still working. Hello. I'm still working, and they got us wearing masks and gloves at work. Yeah, that's kind of what we have to have. Mostly in the U.S. Oh, yeah. I think it's mandatory for the workers, right? Um, yeah, I, I have know. to wear one. I have to yeah. wear one. In Maryland, everyone has to wear them in public spots and workers. And then PA, it's just workers that have to wear them. If they deal with the public. Yeah, Cowboy. I definitely try to figure out what your contacts are. Yeah, you that's... Can. <laughs> Same ones for two months, bro. That's not good. I'm gonna go blind, no, it's bro. not. Well, I mean, you're already blind, but... Love you, Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, lot on oh, here, God, Wade. Like. <laughs> How do you not have them ruined? So, I guess Trump had a press conference today. So Georgia and Tennessee is saying, oh, they're gonna wind down coronavirus stay at home orders, reopen some businesses. Lay down. So it's not just Georgia, it's also Tennessee. So the outbreak to them is slowing. So apparently slow down for them. <laughs> okay, this is some news I can get down with. Oh boy. Um, coronavirus in Italy. Saving cheese to save livelihoods. Let's click on that article. Amen. You don't even have to click on it. Amen. Cheese is life. <laughs> Country shut down all non-essential industries and placed strict peacetime limits on personal freedoms in effort to save lives. Let's see. So the cheese company had a shortage of people, but they still kept going. It's a really unique product made only with three ingredients, raw milk, rennet, and salt. Huh. It's a cheese called Parmigiano? Regania. Reg that would be just your regular Parmesan cheese, usually. Only um, a small bit of employees can come to the farm to collect milk. They gotta collect milk every day for this cheese. Yep. 
So the cows got, the, the, apparently the cows got social distancing too. It says, and everybody has to adhere to strict um, spatial distancing to avoid contaminations while they're milking. So if that's while they're milking, that means even the cows are separated. <laughs> oh. Well, that's, that's some cheese news for you. Some cheesy news. <laughs> I see what you did there. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Negotiators from the House, Senate, and White House are close to finalizing an accord with the on the so-called Phase 3.5 response to the coronavirus pandemic and hope to have an agreement by late Monday or Tuesday. What the hell is Phase 3.5? Does anyone know? Nope. I'm gonna have to look into that now. Phase 3.5. What's the other news we normally look up? We have CNN, Fox, and ABC. Um. Yeah, ABC was one. This ought to be good. <laughs> They're about as good as CNN most times. Okay, ABC. I probably gotta look up ABC News, probably. Oh, there it is. Politics. Gotta look up the good one. I'm not a political man, trust me. And I just, I don't like. Welcome everyone who's joining. Damn. 96 year old World War II veteran got his hair shaved into a mohawk to honor fallen paratroopers and bring joy admin amid the corona the COVID-19 pandemic sorry your computer's really hard to read with this small writing I gotta like lean forward to read it Holy shit, Mike Bloomberg spent more than one billion dollars yep. on just a four month presidential campaign. He spent one billion dollars on not becoming the president. Wow, and he could have saved a lot of Americans by spending that money on something else that's more useful. Yep. 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 Uh that's politics. That's politics. <laughs> I love the United States. In the, in oh, we're yeah. more worried about who our president is rather than saving lives. Yep, we're, that's America. We're more worried about spending money on becoming the president than actually fixing the country. Like, you know, half <laughs> right? other people that's in the poli politics, you know, like the House and the Senate. Like, come on, bro. The president ain't everything. Sorry. He, he president ain't shit. <laughs> Well, what I'm saying is, like, okay, you got These every, every four shit. years they get, you know, a new president. But what about the rest of the, what about the rest of the government? Well, that's why they tell you, like, it's important to vote for president, but it's more important to vote for your primaries and your, your local government and... But see, that's my problem, though. Like, I don't know who that is. I don't know you. Like, if Ethan went in for office, well, I'd vote for him because I know him. Alright, I am not well, gonna pick off some random dude off the street and vote for him because I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> Pocahontas, I've heard that, that he's just as bad, but. And whoever else is in the chat, I got four viewers. Go ahead and just uh, comment anytime you'd like. I know Alex is watching, so, right? Yeah, I'm watching. Are you it's in one, one of though? No, I'm in just regular. Okay, I was just wondering because I don't know. I, don't I probably know could go to Mod View. Well, I don't know if that counts as a viewer or not. Uh, well, view. let's find out. If you lose a viewer, I'm in Mod View. Oh shit! You probably uh, are gonna lose a viewer because it it changed the browser, but. For Holocaust survivors, coronavirus pandemic reopens old wounds, and charities step up to help. Damn. 
I didn't know there were that many Holocaust survivors yet. How many are there? I don't know. It just says Holocaust oh. survivor. I'm, I'm clicking on the link right now. See what. I, there's. I don't think there's too many left, but. I could be wrong. What the fuck was that? I think it was him turning on and off his mic or something. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> it just sounded funny. Let's say how many people is actually. Man, that's sad as fuck. So this old lady. Out of fear of being killed, Rosenberg's great aunt instilled a message with her children. If you, this is her message. If you ever lose me, find your uncle at 333 7th Avenue in New York. That's where your salvation is going to be if things end and we make it out. That's where you have to make it and that's how our family will survive. Son of a bitch, bro. That was during, that was during when the Nazis were taking. Yeah. So the charity is actually called. Uh, let's see. I think it's literally called Charity 333. Oh, well, I mean, that's. Uh, yeah, Evan Rosenberg's philanthropy. Trophic passion project called 333 Charity because her uncle or their uncle was at let's see where is it at in here a New York city apartment located at 333 East 46th Street that's where the apartment was so the charity wow that's crazy and a few weeks later, the war ended and the children were able to get on a boat traveling in New York where they reunited with their uncle at that address. That's fucking crazy. That has nothing to talk about the coronavirus. <laughs> it just reopens wounds, I guess, because of uh, how they were living. Yeah. Welcome viewers, we're just going over some news right now, see what we're uh, dealing with in the real world because I don't pay attention to the news until it's Mondays with Murdoch. On here. <laughs> <laughs> I have literally I have a lot of catching up to do on the news. There's literally, right now, there's literally no reason to even keep up on the news, just uh, uh, except to make sure that you, you're not required to wear a face mask. Yeah, pretty well. That's basically the extent right now is... Unless it's something to do with face masks and going out in public. There's no need for the news right now. And wait, I'm not going to disagree with the whole Trump being a, a decent president or a good president, however you want to call him. Just because I do think he did a lot of good, but my thing, it's just a lot of other people in the, the office need to go. And him, okay. him actually firing people, honestly, that's something I would be doing. Like, oh, you fucked up, you're fired. Because He's... we we look up to them people. We are the people. So we have to look up to them to make the right decisions for our entire country. So if they make a mistake, you're fired. Get the fuck out. Go home. You're done. Sorry, not sorry. This is how I feel though. Pack your bags. Pack your shit. <laughs> what was you gonna say, Alex? I was gonna say he's at least being proactive with his with his um pres presidency, I couldn't think of the fucking word. Wow, Trump could also be. I mean, his... one hundred percent though, he's better than Hillary. Sorry. Yeah. I don't. I don't trust a liar. All right. Plain and simple. She got caught lying. Why would you want that as a president? To be fair, Trump's been caught in a couple lies too, but. 
Yeah, but no, we're, I talking, think... we're talking major I, lies. We're talking I, I, yeah, about yeah. national security lies. You have yeah, to I know, I know. emails. Like, Bill Clinton, you know what? I feel bad for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Pocahontas, I 100% agree with that as well, but, you know. I think a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of people, like, Jeff Bezos could be spending his fucking money, and Bill Gates could be spending his money to help others. Like, there's a ton of people that, that, <laughs> they could give us all a million dollars, and it would, it'd be pocket change. Let's not forget about the dude that just spent a billion dollars. Yeah, Mike Bloomberg, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's spend a billion dollars and now become president. president. <laughs> that is so dumb. <laughs> Like, if you're gonna spend that money, at least, at least fight it out to the very end. And the only reason that hit the news is because it was so much money. Yeah, that's a no lot other, of money. There hasn't really been a, any other president who spent that much money and lost within that, like, amount of time. Yeah, well, and it's not even he lost. He just dropped out, like. True. <laughs> I just, like, it's not like we voted and he lost, and it's like, well, you spent all that money. I mean, it still technically went to waste, but at least you tried. Now, he just dropped out, like, wow. So, CEO of Facebook, Facebook uh, Zuckerberg, is planning on tracking some of this information, the COVID-19 information, to protect the people. So, what is he going to do? Fake news, you just deleted, I guess. Oh my god, he's Zuckerberg is ruining his own fucking. But my thing is, like, wait a minute, hold up, time out. So if I post on something like, fuck you, Mark Zuckerberg, on my Facebook, am I gonna get banned? Um, I've seen people do that and they haven't been banned yet, so. Like, this is how, this is how controlling things are getting. It's, it's, it's fucking ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous. Like, this fucking YouTube channel might get taken down because I said fuck Mark Zuckerberg. You know, he fucking, he fucking <laughs> knows. At this point. Shit getting whack, bro. Don't have no privacy. You'll be in Facebook jail. Probably, honestly. Sometimes I wonder if real jail is actually better than the real world. Sometimes. <laughs> well. At least, at least in jail, I get three meals a day, you know? Yeah, really. Most people don't get that now. And a full night's sleep. Let's see. Nothing else I see. Alright. So let's get oh, to boy. the real good news, alright? Let's talk about some colossal gaming information. First up, yeah. in order. Yeah. Uh, talk Woo! about myself a little bit and Alex a little bit. Yeah. Um, you guys see that I'm in a, a different place, different different area. Um, if you guys kept up with some of my podcasts throughout the season one, this is season two, so welcome everybody who stayed this long. Um, we bought a house. It's a, it's a simple. I got a, a video up on that. Um, it's on my YouTube channel, so uh, check that out. Um, but we're on a temporary setup right now. Uh, I'm gonna kind of go over why I'm on a temporary setup. Um, so first of all, got a house. It's a beautiful house. I love it. Um, <clears throat> the house tour is on YouTube. Check it out. Let me say that one more time. <laughs> um, but some of the outlets in this house is not 100% grounded. So we're gonna get an electrician in. But then all this fucking pandemic happened, so here we are still with a, a temporary setup. Um, and then, in the midst of all this fucking bullshit going on with the, the virus, um, my mom's basement caught on fire. And I'm not going to get too deep into that. All I'm going to say is she's living with me right now, and that's why my setup is not upstairs, it's downstairs. Believe me, if if that wasn't the case, both of our rooms would be pretty well almost set up, except for the the outlet part. Yes, but you know, <laughs> family comes first. She can stay here as long as she yeah. wants. She wanted to pay. I'm like, no, 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 no. I lived with you for so long. 
it's time for me to give back to you. So just remember, family yeah. comes first, YouTube and Twitch. Yep. It comes first. Ethan is obviously part of my family as well, so, you know, take that into account, Ethan. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, lick, lick. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what's Too far. Um, oh, yeah, keep it in the family. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, but these podcasts is going to happen every Monday, whether we're just chatting or we're talking about some serious news, so come join us. I'll probably be drinking a beer every Monday with you guys. So cheers to everyone who wants to drink with me, and let's keep these podcasts going this year, every Monday at 8. Um, so as I'm talking about this house, um, recently, Alex, today, actually very recently, she bought a new PC. Uh, extremely. Yay. Yay. So um, Yay. Her, PC, her PC will be coming. Um, this PC that we're on right now is not my PC. I, it is, but it's not. It's not my, it's not my gaming PC. Um, so this it's one's actually going to be set up downstairs for people to come over. Um they can stream and do whatever. Yeah, they can stream, do whatever. I'm going to get a new Gato for them, and they can come down here and they can stream whatever they want, however they want. Yep. It'll be their channel to stream on because I have really good internet here. Um, right now I'm on Wi Fi. I'm going to be fixing all that. But again, I got to wait till this freaking virus kind of slows down so I can get a, an electrician in here to look at everything. Um, in other news, Colossal Gaming has kind of. Um, how would you put that? Collided, or yeah, yeah. collided Collab. with um, the fam. Um, yep. And that is Gigi's side of Colossal Gaming and her whole gaming family. Um, so I'm super excited to. They're a sister company, per se. Yeah, but they've been uh, alive as long as we have too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're kind of, at this point, I'd say they're a sister company. Um, and we've been doing GBs, so I'm super excited to run some GBs with the fam. Um, that just recently happened as of yesterday, and I did a tournament on Saturday, I believe. Um, so I'm super excited to run some ladder matches and tournaments with them. Um, I absolutely love competing, so um, more people, the better. Plain and simple. Um, and yes, Toka, we're glad to have you as well. Um, shirt ideas, we have not been through all that because, again, I've actually been not gaming so much for four months with Colossal because, you know, the setup. Oh, this shit. Out. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, when well, I'm going to get back in track of that, um, I feel so bad about it because. I'm usually on every single day. It's part of my job. Um, got hats well, made and okay. shit. But Alex is working on a new idea. She's making a coaster for me. So if any Colossal member wants a coaster for their desk, who games or whatever, let us know. Probably gonna make them anyway. Yeah, yeah I'm probably just gonna make everyone a set anyways, but um, right now we're testing the waters I'm gonna have an orange coaster with a black CG in it. I'm gonna get a custom curtain for my gaming room made um, But we are definitely still working on shirt designs um, I'd say next Monday on the next Monday. I should have a few coasters done. You can show them Yeah, I can show you guys some coasters next Monday if you join us um, But yeah, the shirts uh, I do have shirt designs. They're just not all made. Um, and once I get them all made, that's when I'll ship them out. Once I have them in my possession, I'll be shipping them out. Because I myself want to inspect them to make sure the shirts is what I want. They're good. Yeah, I, I don't want to send someone a shirt and it looks like absolute dog ass. So we're going to make sure that the shirts are good. And I'll personally spend my own money to send them out to you guys. Um, and then we're going to be opening up a small store uh, for the fans to buy some if you guys want some merchandise. And of course, I'm going to get a special shirt for me and my <laughs> Russian because we decided, you know, we're, we want to run a business. That's, we're going to have to look, look the part. So that's what's going to happen with me and my Russian. Hopefully he joins us soon. Um, I don't think I have much more colossal news besides 
Um... Yeah, I think that was that was it, wasn't it? There's just really the, not. Yeah, no one else is real. Um, J four. I'll leave him. Okay. <laughs> do that one. Um. But yeah, Ethan, you want anything to say? I mean, are you kind of mm. back on the COD team a little bit or no? Uh, I would. I would <laughs> like to be. Uh... A coach. Oh, there you go. A good asset. I like that. Um, yeah, I like that. The next Call of Duty, though, me and him is going to be racing for the final camo, right? <clears throat> Nudge. Correct. <laughs> so, um, I just find it really fun because I haven't gamed for four four months, and I do have the final camo. So it's like all that time from November when the game was released it's to like, yeah. middle of December. I always go for the final camos, so that's just who it is. So maybe, maybe next Call of Duty, Colossal can have a little competition on who gets the final camo, gets like a, a prize or something. And my tournaments, that's what I wanted to talk about. My tournaments that I uh, always host will be picking back up. Um, our gaming rooms, me and Alex's, will be separate. All right, so she won't be able to yes, actually nice. hear me. So the tournaments will be a lot better than what they have been, because there will be no echoes or anything. Well, there might be a little bit of echo at first, but we'll get to that some other time. Whenever the time comes, I get in the, my game here. But we could finish Black Ops 3. <laughs> yeah, we, got, we still got to finish a Black Ops 3 tournament, which it will be between Alex, um, Ethan, and Gigi, if she's still up for it. Is it Black Ops 3 or 4? It's 4. Black Ops 4. 4. four. four. Black Ops 3 was so much better than um, anyway, yeah. let's get into some um, our topics today, actually, I should say, um, which was just one. I just uh, talked about Colossal Gaming. That was one of the topics. I want to get into some COVID-19, and do you guys think the, do I think the government is overpowered? Now, at the end of our discussions, you guys can always tell me in the comments or chat, wherever you want, what you want me to talk about next Monday. I would love for that to happen because I want to keep these podcasts going each Monday and keep talking about things. I can talk about things for hours upon hours. But we're going to try to keep them a little short, you know, under at least two hours, which I think is decent for a podcast. So let's get into some COVID. Oh boy. All right. Let me refresh this page, see if the numbers changed. So right now, oh shit, it did actually change. Um, as of right now, I want to go over some numbers of the COVID before we get talking too much um, about what it is and how it's spread and everything. Um, so for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it just knows my location. I recently moved from Maryland to PA, so that should be known. Um, Somerset County has 19 confirmed cases, which is where I'm resided in now. Uh, Pennsylvania alone has 32,284 cases with 1,112 deaths. That's just Pennsylvania alone, guys. United States has 795,898 confirmed cases with 72,175 recovered, 42,560 deaths. That's crazy. 42,000 people died because of a virus. Let that sink in for just a, a smidge. Worldwide, we have 2,470,410 confirmed cases. 645,335 have recovered. We have 169,794 deaths. Is that actually a real number? That don't sound like it would be real. What's the number? 169,774 deaths. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds right. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, 
Let's see. So the I I can literally track this live, but I'm not I'm not gonna keep up with the numbers. So I think the first thing we should go over is how it's spread. Uh, the virus that causes COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through droplets generated when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or exhales. Wow, exhales? <laughs> Let me breathe on you once. These droplets are too heavy to hang in the air and quickly fall to the floor or surfaces. So literally just talking. Yep. You can be infected by breathing in the virus if you are within close proximity of someone. So it's like it's like the people that talk right in your face. Oh god. Do you ever get one of them people that like just come up to you and they have to be in your face to talk? Like Yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah. bro. Distance yourself. If we hit social distance after this is over, that'd be great. <laughs> exactly, I agree honestly. <laughs> Please continue to stay six feet away from me. <laughs> so, in case people are wondering, what does COVID-19 stand for? In COVID-19, CO stands for Corona, V means virus, D for disease. Formerly, this disease was referred to as a 2019 novel coronavirus or 2019 NCOV. What the fuck? That is dumb. That shit out of here. That's the stupidest shit ever. So, main topic: Is it real, or is it all made up? Alex, what's your opinion? What is it? Just the virus itself? Yep. Um. Is it too late for M? W M? M W M. What do you mean? Sorry, after I don't know what you mean by that, buddy. <laughs> Am I too late for MWM? Oh, Mondays with Marlock? No, 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 no. We're still going, buddy. We're talking about Trevor <laughs> right now. Or Dizzle My Rizzle, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're actually just on... We just started the COVID-19 COVID discussion. Talk. Yeah. And we're discussing, is it real or is it made up? So take it away, Alex. What do you think? Um, well, I've heard a lot of nurses say that what they deal with is pretty, pretty scary, so I'm gonna go with, I'm pretty sure it's real. I trust nurses over tinfoiled hat Facebook users in their mom's basement. <laughs> Very good way to put it, I love it. <laughs> Ethan, what do you think about us? <laughs> Come back to me. <laughs> Come back to me, he says. I believe that it is real, just because, again, I know a lot of nurses as well, and of course you're going to have some of them freaking nurses say how fake it is, but those aren't the ones that's on the front line dealing with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, those are the usually... ones in the background like, oh man, I'm so jealous of them guys. Well, that would that's kind of like a nurse that deals with like a tr not a traveling nurse, but a nurse that does home visits and they only deal with one patient. Like, yeah, of course they're not going to think it's real. They don't see it. Like, yeah, and a, what a lot of people don't understand about most nurses is honestly, I don't want to say it's a competition. Don't get me wrong. So don't t don't take this in a wrong way. But someone comes in with. Uh, a more serious case they want to take the them. nurses the nurses well just like the doctors doctors want to take the more serious stuff because it shows how confident they are and again i don't want to make it sound like a competition it's just that's what they signed up for they signed up to take care of the worst case possible so yeah they do you they are do. gonna have jealous nurses out there and then they're gonna oh, be yeah. like oh, <laughs> they clearly are lying about this shit so, I'm back. I'm I'm gonna say it's it's more real than it is. Fake. I think based, I think going off of what Pocahontas just said, I think that it's not so much the government to putting out stories. At least in America, it's the media putting the shit media. out that that is ruining everything. Like they, media literally screws everything up, but. Yeah, they also, do. Also, if we're going to be talking, because this is going to transition into the government. 
My issue is a lot of government has their hand in the media. We watch, if you guys yeah. watch Unacknowledged on, on Netflix, it's still on there. That's true. They have their finger in every media outlet possible. The, the government has their hand in just about anything, let alone. And again, how do you how do you make someone spend a lot of money? You create a pandemic. So I can I mean it's half and half to me, but it's. I, Ooh. Afro, I think I think going off of what you just said, uh, I'm I'm willing to say that it's probably a, a conspiracy theory that it got released, whether on accident or on purpose. But I still think it, it's a serious disease. I guess I, I do believe it's a serious disease, but I think kinda the government's like, pushing it out there a little too far. Kind of like I think 9/11 was an inside job, but I still believe that all those fucking people died. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, well, no one actually died. No, I'm gonna say it was an inside job to kill people. Like, Bro, is it? If we're gonna be talking about 9 11, 9 11, 9 11, um, it's definitely <laughs> gotta be a conspiracy there because you're gonna tell me the most secure building in the world, the Pentagon, did not capture a fucking um, plane? Um, um, I'm sorry, but the Pentagon is not the most secure building in the world. Quotation marks if you're. Paying attention, I actually, I oh. might not, I might not have had my hands up in the camera. So quotations on the most secured building. I don't think it was from a bat. Cause Ozzy Osbourne's been eating bats since the fucking '60s, and <laughs> bat soup, dude. I, honestly, if we're gonna be honest on the whole, where this started, I don't believe it came from a bat because China been eating them motherfuckers for how long now? I, yeah, they've been eating it for a long. It's a delicacy over there. I think it was a lab-produced virus. Like that's it, my. It, if we're gonna go off of conspiracy theory, think of the the FBI who barged in the um, the Colorado um, fucking university, and two of the scientists in there leaked information to China. So I mean, this could yeah. this could have been a U.S. created. Virus, virus that, that was took, sold. Uh, it could have been sold to fucking China. True. True. China, the, China could have bought it from us. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, again, how do you make a, a world pandemic? You release a fucking virus. You release a virus that doesn't have a vaccine or a cure or anything to it. So, I mean, I don't know. This is this whole COVID nineteen shit. To me, I'm I'm leaning seventy percent real 30% fake just because I feel like the government could push out false information to make people pay. I think I think it's 100% real and 100% conspiracy. <laughs> I can't deny that one either. You could say that Pocahontas. You could you could almost say that. But I, I don't think it was Trump per se. I just think it was the US government. The pre uh, Trump doesn't have as much power as people think he does. Our senators and our our representatives have way more power than he does. He house. can veto a bill. Yeah. yeah, he can veto a bill, and our Congress can just veto it and a veto his veto, and that that's the end be, of it. There could be someone else pulling strings for on them. Yeah, too. yeah. Because... Well, I'm just going off with numbers too, because there's been worse viruses out there, and this one's not as bad as the other ones. But all of a sudden, we got it's, we got to shut the economy down, bro. Well, it, it's it's. <sighs> not as bad but because we don't like the flu we have a flu vaccine for we have ways to we have over-the-counter medicine to help relieve your symptoms COVID-19 we don't have anything for so the death rate's gonna be skyrocketed because nobody oh, knows how to treat it just take some ibuprofen you'll be fine no don't take ibuprofen <laughs> I know if you it have makes COVID. it worse <laughs> I know it makes it worse <laughs> But that's all what I'm saying. Like away. when all these other viruses came out, they didn't have a they didn't have a cure right away either. Yeah, and, and you know a lot of they people... didn't have a they didn't have something for that right away. That's true. That's true. But I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll accidentally find a cure, like the guy did with. Uh... Penicillin. Yeah, and, yeah. And that honest, be... Yeah, I was saying China could be the cause of that because okay, if, if we're talking conspiracy again, I'm not saying it's fake and I'm not saying it's real, but if we're right. talking conspiracy, think of this: China releases a virus that has no vaccine, but China, China has a vaccine. Let's say in their back pocket, right? Right. right. They already have, so they release. How, how are you going to make billions upon billions of dollars? 
You're going to release a virus, and next thing you know, let the world have it. Hey, we have a cure. Hey, we have a cure. You can buy it for this price. If your economy is crashing, what's the better way to do it? But that's also a good way to start a fucking war. But I think if it is fake, I think it is because of the economy. Look at gas prices. There's going to be a war bound to happen after this. I'm sorry. Um, did, did you did you not see what a barrel of oil costs today? It's costing the. It's actually costing them to make it. They're negative. Yeah. That news report no, I just read it, earlier was negative. Oh well, they must have dropped even more because it was a cent per barrel when I looked. Oh uh, yeah, it's under a cent. It's under zero right now. That's why Damn. most of these oil companies will. They say could go bankrupt. They said the one in Texas is going bankrupt. I think they filed today. Something about a Texas oil field is going and exactly, bankrupt. Exactly. They didn't close every business in the process and any, any other pandemic. New Zealand has less cases only because I are I believe they're communists, right? New Zealand? Uh let me look for it. They only you. have like they only had like three cases, but they shut the whole country Ooh. down. They, they shut the whole country down and locked their fucking doors. No one was in or out of that place. Actually, I saw something just a little bit ago about Sweden and how they're handling it. And it's been effective so far. Dude, Sweden's one of the best places to live. I'm not gonna lie. They even have... They have one of the top they, five schools. They are... Public and they're freaking... Okay, um, New, <laughs> New Zealand... New Zealand is a constitutional monarchy, which means, like, the queen... The queen okay, Britain owns New Zealand. So the queen is technically their monarch, but I guess they have a constitution and bylaws which makes it so they can have their own president and the queen doesn't really have a say. But they still shut it down. I mean, they... they really... Yeah. And it's pretty sad that America America has more cases than fucking China. Yes, you can have the people sitting there saying, oh, but America tested more. Dude, you're talking about a three I... million like people living in China. Three hundred million. We just heard that today on that uh, show that there's like they take up a third of the world's population, and you're gonna tell me that they have uh, less cases? China has a China has a lot more than three hundred thousand people. No, I said a third of the many population. Is... I said three hundred million. That's uh, well, that's what um that shows that more... mankind. Well, in 2018, it was 1.4 billion people lived in China. Either the way, they have way yeah. more people over there than we have. They do. Yeah. How about this? How about school? They are all shut down in Canada as well as kids ain't getting the education they need to survive. Okay, I, I, I feel like that's part of the parents' problem as well. Uh, I was going to say, I actually disagree wholeheartedly. Uh, the only things you need to survive is what parents should be teaching their kids. I don't think I need, well, of course, now I'm taking accounting, so I actually do need math. But there are things I learned in school that they said what was essential to my well-being that I've never used. And it's been almost 10 years. Like, I'm never going to use them. I don't, I don't know, know how why. Canada schools are, though. They might be teaching a whole new different thing than us. But well, that's, I guess that's true. That is true. We have grades but... 1 through 12 here in high school. And they're starting to teach algebra in, in grade 5. In, in, in grade 5, yeah. What? Like, it's... Bro, I haven't used algebra since I left school. That was 6 or 7 years ago. Fuck, I don't... I don't even tell me about it. I haven't used algebra since. Well, I I don't want to be the devil's advocate there because I actually disagree. I think we use algebra a lot more than we think we do. We just don't. It's just not what we, I don't know. Like, we think of it differently. You, you tell me when I use algebra. Let me drive down the road for a minute and let me see where the algebra is coming at. Well, I don't know. I think just in some of the things we calculate in our heads, we kind of do use algebra. But I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm I'm a math whiz, and I don't think I've ever used algebra since I left. Besides geometry, I've used geometry. You gotta calculate the savings. After I don't even do that. I just see if it's if it's twenty percent off. I'm like, whatever. That's good enough for me. <laughs> what they need to teach in schools more than anything is how to fucking drive. First of all, huh, we're well. gonna be getting on that and the whole government shit. Um, yes, calculating your savings and when you go shopping and how to write your checkbook and do your taxes. That's what they really need to teach in schools. 
Uh, yeah, it's right here. Shut up, it's dogs. Dumbasses. But I just feel like if we're gonna be teaching things in school, it doesn't always have to be all of the geometry. We don't need to know algebra two. All right, I just stop it at algebra, bro. Just stop it right there. All right, just make it one whole fucking class. But what I was saying about Sweden schools is they don't actually start teaching their kids until like age seven or eight when they're brain starting to well, develop more. Well, they, they, what they do in Sweden is, and I, I agree with how Sweden does it, they start them at five going to school. But all they do is they let them play and they let them learn through their environment. And then over, over the next like two years, they start introducing like a curriculum. And I agree with it. I think that's a great way to do it. Yeah, and the, the person who was doing the interview, there was kids up in the tree, and they're like, why don't, why don't you tell them to get down? Like, if they fall? Because that's how, that's how, that's how they, how they, they learn. learn. They're going to either learn not to do that or they, to do it better. They learn through their environment. Which I think is a really good way of doing it. But see, Sweet, they don't really Sweden. start teaching things until, like, like I said, it's 7 or 10, somewhere in there. I, I can't remember what the number is. I also let's all move to. I'd love to move to Sweden. I really would. I, I think would, their I would curriculum. Or, or they, they have. They have. They have, they have, they have no have no landfills. They burn all their trash into energy. Experience they have one agreed, of the Afro. Best, they have one of the best uh, healthcare systems, even though yep. it's free. But it's because of how small the yeah. country is compared. Yeah, to, they. Like, if, if the United States did it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be able it, to handle it. Yeah, I think it would collapse upon itself. It would, I, I, Sweden, the notion is have, ideal, but yeah, when you have Sweden where it's a small group of people, it, it works, works better it works. because there's less people you have to worry about. Experience is the best teacher for knowledge. Now I'll I tell. I would I would move to Sweden or Tokyo any day of the week. Now, I will tell you what I do feel sorry about in regards to schooling is the seniors missing their prom and their graduation. Like, that kind of does fucking suck. They spend a lot of money on that stuff, and now it's it's pretty well canceled. Like, Chris, I just saw the name of this party. <laughs> <laughs> mm, party for the poor. Party for the poor. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I can I can agree with Alex on that, but I can also disagree. I'm gonna play devil's advocate on that. Why? Okay. Because life is life. It's tough. Yeah, yeah suck it, it, it sucks. Welcome to the it, real world. Yeah, it do, it does suck, but I, I I do feel I do feel a little bit of pain for the kids for for not getting to graduate like graduate correctly. I guess like they're still correctly, getting their diploma. Man, just give me the piece of paper and let me go home so I can start my life. Except for right now, because you can go home and you, you can't really start That's, your life, but... You can well, stay yeah. there. <laughs> well, I, I'm with Chris on this one, in all honesty. Like, I am I too, didn't... but but you have to remember, other kids think real uh, think differently, and, like... And, and that's why I, I'm... I'm they, they might... They might be yeah. the first... They might be the first kid in their family to actually graduate high school. Like, that's a big deal. To walk. I guess. It... I don't know. It, it depends. Yeah, and that's, I was only playing devil's advocate. Just yeah, yeah I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm definitely 50 50 on that subject because it's just, yeah. you know. Yeah, it sucks. It, but it, it, it sucks, but it's life, unfortunately. I do not care. I'm only saying that because it gets you ready for life. Like, these people that's not going to walk, I'm sorry, but they're, a, they're already a step, of, a step ahead of the people that did walk. I'm sorry. Just because they're like, damn, one of the biggest days of my life, and I can't do it. So they're going to learn from this experience. Well, and I just feel like, like they're going to... Just like Afro says, experience is the best teacher. And he's gonna, they're going to understand that they ain't walking across the stage, so life ain't just handing them what they want. They're going well, to they're gonna have to... Well, I was... On that, like what Afro said, like, well, and what you just said... I feel like having a big accomplishment ripped from them is either going to make them or break them. Either they're going to wallow on that the rest of their lives and not get anywhere, or they're going to work harder to get a bigger accomplishment done. Like I like what Afro says. It measures, it reassures yep. 
all the stages of get or all the stress of getting there. I think this is maybe the best way to start off. Gives them more to think about on their next move. Because there are some people out there that I know that are above me. Guys. From my class, and then there's some that's below me. So the people right, that's you were about mid level. Off, the people that's going to be starting off without walking across the stage is going to teach them a valuable lesson in their life. Not necessarily hurting them, but letting them know, hey, we life isn't just going to hand you everything you want. That's what I'm getting at. And it is the memories that people want. I 100% can, can get behind that. Yeah. And that's why I'm 50-50. You know, I, my graduation, um, the most thing I remember is talking about how many fights happened in our whole <laughs> time of being together. Because there's some kids I went to school with my entire life. But, you know, we live in a small... We... Me, Ethan, and Alex, we all live in a small community, so us walking we across live the stage in the was fuck, like... Fuck <laughs> middle of nowhere. 100%. But us walking across stage was nothing. I can understand because you got schools out there that is huge. High schools that are like yeah. colleges almost. That is something they want. They want the memories. Us, however, we came we from just a different area. Walk. And it's just, we just wanted to get our shit and get the fuck out. Go drink some fucking cold brewskis, party yep. like there's no tomorrow, and then get on with life the next day. Because that's literally what I did. Um, but other than that, I, I, I can <sighs> definitely get behind on both points on the whole lot. Yeah, I can stage. too. I can too. Like, it, it sucks. It, it really does. Like, I, I can't imagine being like so thrilled to walk at my graduation only to have it ripped from me like I, honestly i walked at mine but i didn't care let me let me tell sense. you the biggest thing of my high school that i cared about the most wasn't walking across stage it was my last football game right, right. so you had a different that's yeah. when i cried i didn't cry when i got my diploma i didn't cry when Neither i said goodbye I. to my friends because i knew my real friends was going to stay with me it's whoever i chose um, but my my emotions more showed when it was my last football game. And again, I played football for 13 years of my life. So that's a huge part to me. But the graduation was just like, yep, yeah, piece of paper. Thank you. I'm smarter than kids that didn't get their diploma. You know, let me do quotations for that. Um, but that was it. That That's all it was to me when I was in high school. It's like, yeah, I get to walk, and some other kids dropped out. Those those kids that dropped out, to me, was just stupid. But again, that was, what, seven years ago? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, almost ten years ago. Eight years. It was eight, almost eight years ago, babe. Because we graduated in 2012, and it'll be 2022 in two years. And me and Alex never met in high school, by the way. Um, we knew we each other existed, but that was it. <laughs> yeah, we knew of each other. We just didn't know each other. I have to play the advocate. Okay, all right. Go for it. After that's fine. That's fine. My high school was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> off, off to a good start. <laughs> the only reason I'm saying that like, I'm fifty fifty is because there is some people that enjoyed their high school. Leave her alone, Groot. Some guys used to drop out to make money. I. I I think if, if you're gonna drop out to make more money, then it would, and it's a steady job. Go right ahead. Again, like that was my thought seven years ago. It ain't my thought now. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Your mindset because, does change. Because when I seven years ago, it was like, wow, you fucking really? Because most of the people that dropped out was all all into drugs. So yeah, that was my mindset seven years ago. Now it's do what you want. You know, if you think yeah. you can do better without a diploma, go for it. However, if we sign up for a job and you don't have a diploma, um, most the person with the diploma, at, yeah, most most Diplo bosses yeah. look at a diploma is you. At, it's not because you're smarter; it's because you were committed to something. I actually asked a couple of my employers, "Why do you choose a diploma over someone who doesn't have a diploma?" And most of them all say it's because you took your time. 
you were committed yeah. to something and that's what we're looking for in a job. I'm like, damn, okay, that yeah. makes sense. I was happy to get the paper so I can be an appropriate citizen of society. Big facts. Yep. A lot of people can learn more in a work environment. I have. Agreed. Yeah, I, I always thought that I would do well in like a desk job, but it turns out that I have to be on my feet. I love labor jobs, and I don't know why. <laughs> my other my other thing is, um, I will use algebra if I do happen to um, get the area of what I'm black topping. Get off the couch, if Lila. I know sense. you're trying to escape, but Lila, off the couch. Come on. If I, if I become a, a boss at my work area... I will be using more algebra than I do now, if that makes sense. I have to figure out the square footage of what I'm blacktopping. All right, go, 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 go. So, you little fox. As much as I can say I won't use algebra, I probably will eventually. At my job. I've always worked in the cooking. Yeah, Pocahontas, I got the fuck out of cooking. I did it for almost 10 years, and I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of this. And so now I'm in housekeeping, and I enjoy that a lot more. <laughs> I I do grocery store, but I work at Aldi's, and that, hey, is, yeah. that is a high... Yes, it is. Fast-paced work environment, because we have to be quick. I, I, it, you know what, dude? I think it is, and I mean, maybe you can elaborate on this, but I feel like Aldi treats its employer or employees a little bit better than. Uh, they treat employees better than most places would. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like Aldi's understands. Like, there is no one at Aldi's <laughs> I do not like. Good. That's good. That's a good first. Same thing at Chick. Wait a minute, Afro, you work at Chick-fil-A? <laughs> Who wants to go on a road trip? Well, we're clearly, well, after, <laughs> you mean after the virus, right? Yes, after. I guess Georgia has oh. less cases from what I've heard, though. Oh, oh Afro, hell yeah. we're coming to get Chick-fil-A, boy. We're coming yeah. to get Chick-fil-A, boy. <laughs> Some of my chicken was the best. <laughs> oh, oh man. let's go to Afro's house. He can make us chicken. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Let's just go. Let's just go see Afro. He can make us some chicken. <laughs> All right, so let's let's kind of get back on topic here with the whole COVID nineteen. Right? <laughs> we just went from COVID nineteen to Chick Fil A chicken. All right, I I gotta admit, I didn't I didn't panic by anything. No, we didn't. I went and bought some things out of cautiousness because I was afraid of all the motherfuckers who was hoarding all the fucking Who was yeah. gonna panic stuff. buy everything. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm not considering myself a panic buyer. I'm considering myself as I was taking caution to the motherfuckers You are a smart was. buyer. A smart a buyer, smart yeah. Because I got a question to anyone who hoarded anything. First of why? all... Why? <laughs> yeah, first of all, why? Second of all... If you buying all the cleaning products and all the toilet paper, what the fuck was you doing before the pandemic happened, bro? Were you yeah. not wiping your ass? Well, Were you okay. not washing your hands? Like, what the fuck, bro? Okay, here's here's what I think about that. You oh, buy God. all the cleaning products, guess what? You just took it away from everyone else. Therefore, everyone else is going to get the germs, and you're going to get sick anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a very okay. good point. Coming, I never thought of that, honestly. Coming, coming from a housekeeper, there is such a thing as too clean. There, there is such a thing to where you coddle your immune systems to the point where you're just going to get worse. Why like, do you think hand sanitizer kills 99.99% germs? Because there's 0.01% that is good just, for you. It yeah. Is good yeah. For and not your to immune mention system. that most hand, san uh, hand sanitizer can't work <laughs> because it has less alcohol in it. Yeah, it has to have it has to have ninety percent or more alcohol content to actually work eff effectively. Oh, here's something I want to tell you guys. You know what they did oh, at gosh. Aldi's to help us they... with hand sanitizer? Oh, Distiller yeah. Distillery companies are making hand sanitizer for us. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? But see, it's like it's so, like all the fucking preppy white girls out there buying all this hand sanitizer because it smells good. Motherfucker, it ain't working. I right, shut the fuck up and go wash your damn hands in the bathroom. All right, when you when you wipe wipe that piss off of you or shit, wash your fucking hands, bro. Don't use that hand sanitizer. It ain't working for you. Sorry, not sorry. 
The, the only time I usually use hand sanitizer, like I have a, a travel bottle always on me, I only use it if there's no way I can wash my hands properly. Like when we take the trash, I'm always like, Chris, you gotta put hand sanitizer on because you can't wash your hands. I just want to be sure that you don't stick your hands in your mouth after you just took the trash out, like, because that's gross. <laughs> Hey, Afro, you think bleach is better? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drink it. Let's clean that system out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bleach? <laughs> drink it, please. <laughs> bleach, ble bleach is actually, co again, coming from a housekeeper, bleach actually doesn't work as good as people think it does. Hospitals are not allowed to use it because it's not effective. Because it's just like a virus. So it does get your it, blood stains out of your carpet. Oh, but it, does, it does, it does, it does. It was a drop shot. Hey, well, you know. Well, it works. Has it killed you yet? <laughs> but did you die? But did you die? <laughs> but, did you die? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the main thing to literally prevent this disease is washing your hands. It's, I mean, yep. to me, to me, it's just, I see the numbers keep growing. And it's like, how many people's not washing your hands, bro? Like, it's scary. Yeah. It scares me. Well, I don't want to shake hands with anyone no more. Did you just come yeah. out of the bathroom? Did you wipe your ass? Did you actually wash your hands with soap? Or did you just... Did you use your hand? Did you wipe just dip them in the toilet? I don't know. I can't tell. Ew. I don't smell soap on it, you know? But... <laughs> I've been cuckoo. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, just because you come out with your hands all wet from the bathroom doesn't mean you actually washed your hands. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. It's just... You, you watch the numbers grow and it's like... It says to prevent the COVID spread, wash your hands. And that sucks because if Everyone you wash your hands, Sheldon Cooper. Yes, and you actually did, wash your hands, you got to deal with the people who didn't wash their hands correctly yeah. or at all. Yeah. And they touch the handle, and guess what? You just touch the handle. Well, that's okay. Okay, this is a good uh, a good transition into mask wearing. The reason that they're telling you, okay, yeah, cloth masks don't work per se, but. If you wear a mask, you're protecting other people. And, this is true. And personally, I like the cloth masks because I have a tendency to touch my face. And it prevents me from touching my face. And that's what the purpose of them is. It's not to, it's not to completely protect you from getting it. It's just to prevent you from touching something and then touching your face and then getting it that way. Well, let, let, me, let me have the best way to get rid of... The virus. Are you guys ready for this? One yeah, solution for everybody. No, 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 no. <laughs> One solution for no, everything is why don't we all just start living in bubbles? I mean, come on, Afro, in a bubble play, right? Afro, they have it right now. Afro in Maryland, they have it where if you go out in public without a mask, you're getting a fine. Like it's not certain parts of Maryland; it's all of Maryland. All right, keep talking. I have to take a potty break real fast. Don't <laughs> be on God, others. I have to take a potty good. break. It's me. Hey. Oh. Uh, we'll be so happy when this is all over. Get right. At least Shrek is safe. He's safe in his swamp. Oh my god, Ethan. Away from everyone else. Mm, I don't think so. <gasps> I hear excited dogs. Guys, yeah, Tay just came. Tay just walked through the door. So they're going wild. I have, when Chris comes back, I have a good song that would represent the government oh, getting involved God. with the media. I'm oh gonna, god. I know exactly what the song's like about. That in a conference live. That's hilarious, Pocahontas. Don't speak moistly on others. That's fucking great. <laughs> Can we get that on shirts? <laughs> Sorry about that. I had a piss. Chris, I have a point to make. Let's go. This is getting good. This goes back to what you said about the government being involved with the media sources and how you believe in that. There yep. is a song by Rage Against the Machine. It is called Vietnam. 
You know what they did in Vietnam? They when we got information from Vietnam from the news media, they censored it. <laughs> it's a good song. It's a very good song because it talks about how it's happening in today's society now. Well, one up. of the lyrics. One of the lyrics. Fear is your only god on the radio. <laughs> well, Which makes sense when you think about that, because they feed you fear and you start listening. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is true. That's why I take media stuff Guys, with a with a grain of salt. Smells like honey. Hey, you know you can be on YouTube with <laughs> fear. <laughs> Jesus is on my shirt too. Look, Jesus. 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 Who are you saying that to? Uh, Pocahontas and Afro. It says four, but I have two viewers. It's these two, Alex. Yeah, he's in the watch. Just put my finger in his ear. Yes, propaganda has a huge part in the media. I believe that. Yep. They believe what people believe. Fear over anything that's good. Sandwiches. We didn't, they didn't make anything. Uh, get hey, down, you know what? Fruit. You just fruit, made a down. really. You just made fruit. me think of a really good point, Ethan. Break. Fear. Break. Break. Trying to talk. Fear is believed Ouch. over anything good. Here's yep. an example. COVID nineteen started. It made panic. People getting a stimulus check. No one believed it. No one believed that someone was going to get money for being at home. And now it's they actually happening. Fear <laughs> over anything is good. Propaganda. Yeah. That is a damn good point. Good, good shit, Ethan. That is a damn good song. Look it up. <laughs> Lila, get down. Lila! You should fuck out mic before you say that. Woman. Uh, let's see. What else does it say about preventing besides soap? Soap and water. Soap. Water. Soap. Stay Fuck, home if you price. feel unwell. Yeah, don't. Fuck going to the hospital, bro. Huh? Uh, let's see. See, these are all like common things. Cover your nose and mouth. With your bent elbow, it says. I, or a tissue I always get sneeze. so bad. Even before the virus, when someone didn't cover their mouth, I got so mad. And if, if it was with their hand, I was like, what the hell are you doing? You're as not doing anything. If you wash your hands afterwards, I wouldn't mind that. But you, half the time, yeah. you ain't going to, bro. Yeah. Cough in your damn elbow. It's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad habit of lifting up my shirt, and I know that's bad because it just goes through yeah. the shirt. Yeah, I, I do that too. I do that too. I have a bad habit of that as well. It, it but... still goes through your shirt, but you know, at least I'm covering yeah. my mouth. I'm not sneezing in someone's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, open your mouth. What you? Literally just sneezed in my mouth. Okay, enough of the TikTok references. <laughs> But like these are all common things. Like I just I don't understand. Like it's common sense, but unfortunately we have cover your fucking mouth and mouth. stay the fuck away from me. How hard is that to understand? All right, <laughs> do that. Do that even after the virus is done. <laughs> you can all maintain distance of six feet away from me after this is done. That's you know what? Rich. Maintain a distance of ten or more feet. Please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't get arrested. You know, I, you gotta tell them. Six feet apart, officer. <laughs> so My God. Was, that, was that handcuffs washed, officer? <laughs> Did you sanitize these handcuffs? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, how I've been living life. <laughs> Officer, did you did you wash your hands? Did you, did put you wash your hand? hands? Did you wash your hands? Sanitize the wrong before you touched me. <sighs> Six feet apart, officer. You can't arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Any more points we want to make on this COVID-19? I don't know. I don't... It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. That's all yes. I have to say. Yes. We all didn't agree stay... with that. I... My theory was if you stayed at home for like two weeks, it, it would just go away. If everyone... I mean, I know a lot of it's going to be hard to like 
you know, you got farmers, they ain't gonna stop. Farmers can't stop. Truck drivers can't stop. Honestly, those are the two things that run this in fucking country is, is truck drivers and farmers. So they can, to me, they can keep going, but the only problem is then when the truck's gonna stop for food. Like, where are they gonna stop? Makes sense? Like, that's, yes. that's why some of the, the fast food restaurants stayed open because when they stop, I mean, it's not like they're gonna be hoarding food in their fucking truck. Some of them don't even have sleepers. It's just not like they can just get off the side of the road and cook a meal. Huh. That's the only thing that was that was tough on on my opinion is you can't shut everything down. But if you could, I think two weeks would have been easy. Let's see. But, just as a precaution, everybody, please take this serious. Um, a lot of people who, a lot of stars got it. Tom Hanks and his wife, they had it. Um, I know, I think, oh, Carol, or no, a basketball star, I can't remember his name. His, his mother died of COVID. Uh, I know Courage JD, hearts go out to everyone and his family as well. His grandma died of this as well. So it's like, you can say as much as you want, you can say it's fake, but at the same time, if people's actually dying from it and these, your stars, I should say, is it, getting it and they're saying it's real, like, come on, at least try to prepare yeah, that as much a, as you can, you know? There was a hockey player who died too. It's just, to me, if you don't believe it's real, okay, fine. At least take precaution for others. You know, we might not have the same beliefs. We might not have the same religious ideas or the political views. But you've got to respect other people's ideas. So if if you think it's fake and someone else thinks it's real, act as an, a human being and just respect their ideas. Wash your fucking hands, bro. You know, I'm sorry. It's just, it comes down to that. Right? Right? Exactly, Poka. I 100% I agree with you on that. The only time you need to see the doctor is if you're fucking dying, not if you're running a fever. Well, unless your fever is more than like 104.5, then you might want to go see a doctor, but... Yeah, but then that's going to cause your respiration to fucking... Yeah. <laughs> so if you have trouble breathing, that's close to dying to me, bro. Well, <laughs> I'm not just fine right now. I'm so I'm... I've seen people with 104.5 fevers and they don't they don't have problems breathing. They just get right, really well, get hot. Up, yeah, get up and walk around and then tell me how you feel after 104. Well, fever. well, I had I had a fever that high before. But that's what I'm saying. Did you get up and walk around? No, I was in bed all day. Exactly. <laughs> you start getting yeah, up like, and you're like, <gasps> you, yes, yeah, close to dying if you can't breathe. Uh, sad thing is, be responsible. Think of others. Exactly. Maybe this virus killing potential is the consideration we lack for others in the U.S. I 100% agree. And yeah. as much as I'm going to get probably a, lot, a little bit of hate for this, I think what happened with this virus is not necessarily a bad thing. You know? Right. We, yeah. Ethan, Ethan probably said this on an earlier podcast that eventually we're going to have a, a plague. And I mean, I'm not saying this is a plague, but <laughs> yeah, we're not I mean, far it's, from it's, it. Yeah, it's it's. You know, I mean, nature nature has been more beautiful when people are not polluting so much. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Like, it uh, yeah, you, you can could, see uh, the water again. It's crystal clear, like it yeah. should be. <laughs> yeah. China, there's no smog. It's like. Mother Nature literally just took her backhand and said, fuck Earth. Yeah, yeah. Because if it is a, a thing from a bat, from 
sources that say it is from a bat, then it's literally, that's Mother Nature just slapping us in the face saying, get your shit together and learn to live together. Or this is going to happen again. <laughs> that's quite a good rhyme. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a big huge of Mother Nature, of, as you all should know. So it's like, I agree. You know? Thank you, Mother Nature. Nature's just taking its course. That's just my opinion, of course. A lot of others might have a, a whole new view on that, but that's, it is what it is. And you're not going to get the virus if you take your precautions. But of course, what is one thing that you can't control is your job. And yeah, I think a yeah. lot of the issue is people, businesses, greed. Um, if we're going to be going with song references, let's go with um, Disturbs Avarice. Avarice is a uh, word for greed. All right? They, uh, they say in the song Avarice, Avarice will kill you in time. Greed will kill you in time. These businesses that have cases, they need shut down. It's plain and simple. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. They need to shut it down. Because if a, oh, if a business has it, or your job has it, it's just gonna spread, you know. And I, I'm sorry. It's just that's my opinion. I know it doesn't matter to the CEO of Facebook, or it doesn't matter to a business like, uh, let's say, Ford Company. You know, if the case caught there, what are you gonna do? Shut the whole Ford Company down? No, they're fucking greedy. They're gonna keep working. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, the airports, you know, they shut them down. They were one of the first things to been shut down. That's the only thing the government to me did good is shutting the airports down. But again, companies, they're greedy. They're not gonna shut down. And I think that's a, it's kind of a big issue is that's how that's how it's spreading, honestly. People that don't pay attention, people that don't care, and people who are greedy. I you can't you can't really prove me wrong on that one either. Because I think at my mom's work, they, they had, how, how many did she say, babe? Two? Two cases? I thought she only said one, but... If it was one or two, it doesn't matter, because apparently it stays on surfaces for up to 72 hours. Now, if there's not enough cleaning done in that warehouse, then, you know... Someone... Someone's Someone gonna get Douglas it. Got it. I believe greed will be the demise of man, that or technology. Honestly, the three things that call it for is religion, um, territory, and money, which is greed. So, yep, I 100% agree with that, Afro. Technology, I can put underneath greed. Because my man gave me a new iPod. Or, you know, shit like that. People get jealous. Technology. Technology runs this fucking earth. And it shouldn't be like that. But as we're talking about greed, territory, and religion, let's get on with the, the grand scheme of my entire podcast. Is the government too powerful? I have a, another good Rage Against the Machine song. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not it's not about the government. It's about the police. But I mean, the song title is. is well, police. Yeah, yeah, but this one it's called Know Your Enemy. Know your enemy. Might have to look that one up too. And let me look up some lyrics. Well, Kahana says 100% they are overpowered. <laughs> I don't know how Canadian government is, so I can't I can't put my two cents in on that one. But I will be putting my two cents in on the the whole United States one. So, earlier, 
Afro pointed out that there are people in Florida getting fined for not wearing a mask. Now, I know this state isn't, or this, yeah, I guess I can say state because it's the United States, isn't um, a communist state. But how can you prove that it's not? And here's, here's what I have to say on that. Yes, the United States is a democracy. But if the government is going to sit there and keep fining you for not wearing a seatbelt, uh, not wearing a mask, um, fishing without a license, where where is this any different? Yes, it's not a, a horrible, you know, um, I, I'm looking for a word here. It's not a horrible um, correction that the United States does. It's just taking your money. It's taking what you know, what you what you earn, that you get taxed on. It's taking that. It's taking your money. And what does people live on now? Back then, yeah, you could hunt and fish all you wanted to. That's how you lived. Now you go to the store and buy shit to live off of. It's taking your money. It's taking your way of life. So yeah, I, I understand. You know, you can't call this country a, a communist or anything yet but how can you not they're taking something that you've earned that they taxed because it's not their way I mean think about that for a second you can't go fishing without a license or you're gonna get fined and maybe even jail time because you wanted to go fishing because you didn't want to wear a mask because you felt that a seatbelt isn't something that you wanted to wear because it's very uncomfortable sometimes in different cars. You see where I'm going with this, Ethan? Mm -hmm. They're not giving you a hard judgment. That's the word I was looking for. They're not, they're not like out there like killing you or something for something stupid like that, but they're taking your money and that's what you earned and they taxed. This should be yours. No one else is but yours. Ethan goes to work so he can live. He makes money so he can live. Not for the government to take it because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. That is so fucking dumb to me. So I, I hope that makes a, a broad view for everyone who's watching this right now. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Yes, I believe you know some laws should be in effect, but some laws should be your choice. Some laws should be something that is up to you, your safety. 38% of the people who wear a seatbelt actually die from wearing a seatbelt. Well, the way I see it, it's the rules and the procedures in the army. We don't necessarily neglect processes, but there were areas of training where you didn't see that would induce injury. Maybe examine the rule, but don't find people. But how would you get people to follow a safer process where you can't physically make them obey? I agree. However, just like wearing a mask, again, it should be a strong suggestion. A lot of people can't wear them, a lot of people should. But why force it? I thought this was considered a, a free country, which is a good debate here. You know, this is a, a country where you are supposed to be free for the people, by the people. You guys remember that? I, I mean, I wasn't alive during that time, but I sure I do I sure do love the Constitution. I believe it is very right. Washington made this to make it where everything is equal. We got Republican, Democrat, and Independent. But the minute you say you're independent, you're you're shamed. Mm -hmm. We got three of the equal houses. It's supposed to be equal, but when you say you're independent, it's like, why didn't you vote for this guy? Or why didn't you vote for that guy? It's which like, is, eh, go ahead. Which is why George Washington said that political parties would be the downfall of America. And it's looking like that right now. <laughs> the three houses need equal power. That's what, that's what he had in mind. 
equal power. They don't have equal power. Not now. Nope. That's Definitely the downfall. Not now. And right now, like Alex would say, Washington's probably rolling over in his grave. And it's sad that it's came down to that. You know, did we not have a civil war a long time ago for our freedom? Yeah. Technically not ours, but you guys know what I'm saying. And it might have to come down to that again, but no one pays attention to the Constitution. You know, people want to take our guns. Yes, in the Second Amendment, it does say right to bear arms, but it also says the right against um, tyranny. I think it's tyranny. Mm -hmm. Which is your government overtaking too much power. It doesn't say anything in there about you can't have muskets and shit like it. No, it says right to bear arms. It doesn't matter. The Constitution was made to keep up with the times of now and back then. Just because and it that's says... That's why they said right to bear arms. Exactly. They didn't care if you made a machine gun. They knew that we were going to be advanced. So they didn't care of what gun was made. They made it to show where it's, it's out there. Right to bear arms. If our military is carrying AR-15s or, or whatever you guys want to talk about, I think we all should be able to. That plain and simple. Sorry, not sorry. We as the people don't use it, use and exploit as much as the government does, vice versa. There will be always poor people in the land, therefore I command you to be, to be open-handed towards your fellow... I can't read that. This freaking computer's too small. Who are poor and needy in your land? I agree. Um, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at. Like the people that made the Constitution made it to where it lasts a lifetime not just centuries it is here for forever and it, it should stay that way it, it should if our government is carrying around these good weapons you know why the, why can't the citizens because when tyranny ever happens what what are we gonna do we're gonna fucking use muskets I think the fuck not <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see what I'm getting at? I hope everyone understands because oh, it's I, a very... I mean, I understand you completely. I, I think anyone should be allowed to own any gun. Now, I'm not saying someone should be owning handguns, Whoa. rocket launchers, and shit like that, you know? Yeah, but... yeah, I, I don't mean like that. I don't mean like fucking... Explosives. Bring a tank or... Don't have a tank or something, but... But like if some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Someone break into my house, motherfucker. I'm, I'm popping their ass. I don't give a fuck. You went here to rob me. I'm shooting your ass. I don't give a fuck who you are. All right. I don't give. A, I don't care if you have a badge on or not. You are not coming into my house unwelcome. It's that simple. That's just. That's just me though. And again, I would get in trouble for that because I'm protecting what's mine. That that doesn't make sense to me. If I'm protecting what's mine, he breaks into my house, whether you are a fucking government official, whether you are the fucking president of the fucking states, or a goddamn sheriff down the road. If you come into my house unwelcomed, and I don't know about it, and I think you're here to rob me, I'm, I'm shooting your ass. I'm sorry. That's shoot the way, first, that's the way it needs to be. <laughs> like, Maryland, you can't shoot to kill. Okay, well, what if the fucking bullet happens to end up in your head? Sorry. Chris, only seldom have we heard of a true badass who protected what they loved. Exactly. And that's what a lot of, like, we, 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 like, moved past those times, apparently. There's people out there that have saved others, but where, do, where's that in the media? Like, there, there was a, the shooter in they what, wanna, Texas, right? There was a shooter they in Texas. They want to feed off fear. Oh. There was a shooter in Texas that someone had, a, happened to have a handgun in his truck and stopped the shooter. We heard about that just because it was more than one person who died and more than one person who was there at the fucking scene. But you don't you don't get to see the picture of the person down the street that 
maybe just saved his, his daughter from a, a fucking serial rapist or something. You don't get to see that. You just get to see, oh, he shot this, this bad man who was attempting to rape his daughter. It wasn't the fact that he was protecting his daughter. Like, I'm sorry, if I had a daughter, that motherfucker's dead, bro. I, I believe in the death penalty, and I think that needs to be a federal fucking law, not a state. That shit needs to be in every fucking state, because it, it's something that needs done. Self-defense is a criminal defense. That is 100% accurate. It really does get treated like it's a it's a criminal offense nowadays because again Which in Maryland sucks. if you if you break into someone's house in Maryland and you kill them you can get charged for murder. Like hell no, nah, brother. Beyond stupid. Like hell no, nah. I'm shooting that motherfucker. He comes into my house, threatens me. He's he's getting a bullet somewhere. If he dies, oh well, my bad, bro. Couldn't see. <laughs> Like, I just hate that. I hate it with a passion. And, and again, I think that needs to be a, a, a federal law. It needs to be... it. I, this whole state government bullshit, those, those people are, are the ones who will have too much power, in my opinion. Alright? Statewide laws are, are should be just banned. They, should need, they just need to be federal laws. It's it's this and this. The federal law or the federal government needs to step in and all the statewide shit. Like it, it just needs to go away. Honestly. Look at look at you getting all federalist up in here. Well, you, you see what I'm saying? Okay, like New Jersey just uh, I think about a month ago they got rid of the death penalty. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? 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 I think I talked about this in an earlier podcast where the. The Florida shooting shooting happened, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Someone's parent. All right. So let's say you're a, you're a dad to one of the people who the kids got shot. You're paying for that motherfucker to live in a prison because they don't have the death penalty. Man, fuck that. He got in there. He shoots all them people. He needs the death penalty. I'm sorry. Why why yeah, why uh... why do I want to pay for somebody who just shot my fucking my, my son or daughter on that though there's a lot of people that their kid gets shot and dies and they actually they actually ask the judge to grant them mercy they're like we don't want him to die yeah fuck like, that like you'd be surprised how many people actually say that yeah, but see that's not me and if, if it comes down that then it, maybe it should be a vote you guys want this fucking country to be a democracy then vote yeah. Right? yeah vote if we should go to war how about that tell me tell me Agreed. why the fuck we going to war then all right don't don't fucking hide shit tell me the truth do they steal too much oil from you or are they slaughtering millions i don't know you tell me instead of saying oh we just don't like this country we're gonna go to war no how about we vote you got everyone wants america to be a democracy then they need to act like it's a whole fucking democracy there's more things to vote on than just one fucking thing every four years i mean does that make sense mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and vote for a president that i don't i don't know who he is i don't know donald trump i don't know obama i don't know who they are why would i vote for anyone It might be the Canadian in me, but being too nice. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. That's just how I feel about things, you know? If somebody wants them to pursue the death penalty and then you got the other half that doesn't, how about y'all just kind of, you know, make a vote? Like, if it's my son or daughter, yeah, sure, I'm voting death penalty right away. It's not it's not right to me. So it's like, I can understand people that might want to show mercy, you know, fine. I respect your views, but you gotta respect mine then. 
And that that is that's where a lot of people don't understand. They can't respect other people's views. That's where this country gets divided. They better lock me up, dude. After I 100% agree with that shit. That's why I think it needs to be a federal thing, just clear across the board, death penalty sets in. Just like, I'm sorry. Driving, a driving um, test should be in every state. It should not be a statewide fucking issue bullshit. It should be federal says, all right, y'all want your driver's license. It's a privilege. Driving is a privilege. All states need to take a test because half these motherfuckers out here can't drive. And half these motherfuckers get other people killed because they can't drive. So, to me, that shit needs to be federal too. Do I believe that the government has too much power? I 100% say yes. You get pulled over for a speeding ticket. Alright? I understand a speeding ticket, but I also am going to go against a speeding ticket. I gotta, I, I'm gonna do both views here. Because if everyone takes a course, if it's a federal law that you have to take a driving test, and you understand that speeding could be a, a, a wrongful doing and you kill someone, you're right, you're, you should be able to get the death penalty for that because you know that speeding could kill somebody. But why, why have a fine for it now? Like, there, there's countries out there that don't have any traffic laws, and they have less accidents. People who are high on meth and coke are still driving around like nothing is wrong. <laughs> Some are top figures in society. I think that's what he meant to say. Buyers, bankers, etc. Yes. Shit like that. Oh, man. Don't even get me started on that shit. A lawyer and a, a weatherman is literally the two best jobs you can have. You can lie and still get fucking paid. <laughs> it's true. Like, there's nothing There's nothing that can go against me. Lawyers and, and weathermen are the two best jobs to have because you, you can lie your ass off and still get paid. Well, I don't t think necessarily lawyers lie. They just know loopholes. They're good at loopholes. I, I mean, if it's a fucking loophole, it's still a lie. Uh, well, it's just, it's a, it's... Yeah, no, it's still a lie. If it's a loophole, it's, it's still a lie. It, it's the way things were worded that that makes them able to do what they do. Okay, because someone wrote inside of a book one time that says you can't do this. Again, if there was a fine line between every law that was written in stone, you wouldn't need a fucking lawyer. Where would well, you have a lawyer if... No, I'm saying if you get rid of state laws and it, everything is just through the fucking government... Okay. Think about that. If there's no, there's no state laws on certain things, right? Like, so, okay. Taxes, for instance, right? Right. PA doesn't tax on clothes, but Maryland does. If there was a law that said it, it, it okay. If there was a federal law, and get rid of all state bullshit. Pennsylvania, fifty-five speed them is fifty-five unless otherwise posted. Unless otherwise posted, yes. Make it nationwide. Get rid of fucking Maryland bullshit laws that says, oh well, it's fifty here, forty there, thirty there, fifty here. No, motherfucker, just just stop. There's too many laws in too many states, no one on their fucking stands, so and when you move states, you don't know the laws. If everything was set in stone with one easy little, maybe even picture book, for some dumbass to fucking understand what the laws were in every state, it'd be a lot easier to get along. Does it, is everyone with me on that? Like, does that make sense, though? I'm not saying make this fucking country communist, by all means. I'm just saying make it easier. People out there, again, who can't read, make it easy for them to understand what is right and what is wrong. Speeding could be an, uh, an easy fix. 
murder, I mean, it's kind of, it's already a federal law. You can't fucking go out and shoot somebody. That's what I'm saying. Some of these laws that certain states have are hard to understand because people don't understand them. But then you have murder charge. That's pretty fucking clear to me. Don't kill somebody. Yup. I legit almost got hit just walking to work on a on a daily. Exactly. Pedestrians should have the right of way. Easy law to fix if it's a federal nationwide law. Six one women under one roof is a brothel. That needs to be changed. Yes. Emphasis on what's important to know. That would that would work. If everyone reads the newspaper or watches the television. That's the other thing. Laws don't get out there like they should. Like I I, I don't I could not I just moved the PA. I don't know any law besides my car gets inspected every year. That's it. That's all I know. That's the only law that I know that uh, is in PA that I that I personally know, and we just moved here. Now I'm not I'm, I'm not saying I can't look it up, but you gotta think of the people that might not have internet access, might not have cable. Like, what about all them people? How are they gonna read the fucking laws? How are they gonna know what's right and what's wrong? There's a lot to what's right and what's wrong in this country nowadays. Apparently, you can look at someone funny and get fucking fined for it. Can't can't say fuck in front of the judge. I cuss like a sailor. Sorry. I mean, I thought the Constitution says freedom of speech, and yes, that does does go a long way. However, freedom of speech does not go against threatening someone. So if I just say, "Well, fuck" in front of a judge, I can get fined or jailed for that. Huh? What? I didn't threaten anybody. So that that's another thing that I don't understand. Have you ever heard about that, Ethan? Uh no. Let's see. Let's um let's see if I can find the full statement of the First Amendment. Where'd Alex go? I'm still uh, here. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or the or of the press or the right of the people peaceably peaceably that's a weird word to assemble and to petition the government for regards of grievances Huh Nowhere does it say I can't cuss in front of a judge <laughs> so why why is that a law? I'm just you know, I'm asking for a serious feedback because I did anyone hear me? It doesn't say that I couldn't, right? Mm -hmm. So if you cuss in front of the judge and they try to fine you or, or imprison me, can't I just say amendment number one? Or are they going to take that right from me? Yeah, they can hold me in attempt of court, but why? Because I said fuck too many times? As long as I'm not threatening anybody... Why, why am I being charged with something that is just me speaking? Because if, if people want to get on this whole bad word, well, he said a bad word, every word that I've used that I've ever cussed is actually technically in the Bible. And if they want me to swear under oath, which is 
want a Bible, I don't even have to swear under oath. Because I don't believe. It's, it's, it's as easy as that. They can't tell me that I have to swear on the Bible because they can't take my first amendment from me. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? As much as it shows a profession, like a professional person walking in there and cussing, yeah, I understand that 100%. It's frowned on. You should be a little bit more formal in front of someone who's going to let off a charge. But why can they hold me responsible or hold me in contempt for just me speaking? Whether I say fuck, damn, anything. As long as I don't say fuck you, judge, see you in hell, judge. As long as I don't say shit like that, they should not be able to say anything besides thank you, have a nice fucking day. Let me read poke it real quick. Uh, I'm not trying to be racist, but when Canada lets all these people from other countries in and half... And if they have their license in their country, it's okay for them to drive in Canada because it's technically still a driver's license. Honestly, my opinion on that is if you're going to another country, you should know their laws. So I'm not saying they should maybe take a driving test, but if, if I get my, what is it called, a visa, right? Yeah, a visa. I should maybe have to take a driver's license to go into that country if I plan on driving in that country. It is a it's a whole new government system. They should they should make them do a driving test. Me, I probably won't be driving. I'm not gonna lie. If I go to Canada, I ain't driving. I'm gonna take a damn taxi or something because I, I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna be going. I, I wouldn't know the roads, but that's just me personally. If I go to Italy, same thing. If I go to Tokyo, same thing. I'm just gonna try to figure out the word taxi in their language. Exactly, Afro. I, I understand that one. I'm just saying it's too powerful. They are too powerful. They make up all these laws that you have to know, you have to abide by, but then they don't tell you what they are. Or half of them's like ridiculous. Then you move states, you don't know what the laws is. I mean, yes, that should be under your responsibility to know what their laws is in that state but again it falls down do they have internet access is it true is it even true on the internet how half the shit nowadays you read is fucking false as fuck do they have cable can they understand what the laws are you don't know so it just make it a lot easier if they just put it in simple text and say hey no more state laws everything's federal I'm not saying they need to get federal fucking, you know, criminal charges against them. Just make it simple for people to understand. None of this bullshit that, well, Maryland's law is this. No, fuck, fuck that shit, man. It's, the law is, in every fucking state. They could definitely do that, Afro, I, I agree. Again, but if, if you go to a, a DMV, they might just give you the vehicle laws. They won't give you the laws on everything else that needs to be done in Pennsylvania. But that, that, I mean, that could totally work. Listen to this, Ethan. He says maybe they could send you the state laws when you switch over your driver's license at the DMV, like a letter in the mail from the federal, of federal laws, which, I mean, that, that'd be perfect. That honestly would work. If yeah, that's, they that's if good. they write every law that's in that state, plus federal law, mm -hmm. because I I do agree with the whole state, you know this is a state penitentiary, this is a federal penitentiary, shit like that. I do agree with the whole state law and federal law. I will say I agree with it, but I think the system's broke. There's too many laws in too many different states. If that if if you guys understand what I'm saying there. And I, I do agree that um, everyone who turns 18 needs to get uh, a license, whether it, you can drive or you're not, an ID of some sort. And when you switch, they, they should make you, which we are too, but of course this whole virus happened and we haven't switched our license over just yet, but that's just because everything was fucking closed. But I, I can 100% I can get, get past that one, Afro. I, I, would, I would pass that in a heartbeat.
They need to send something out for you guys to understand what the laws are. Any input, Alex? Are you, are you not at your PlayStation? I'm not my PlayStation. Um, I, I, know, know. We... I know you did talk about um, if you thought the government was overpowered or not. Um, I mean, I thought we were talking about overpowered in terms of Covoid. I didn't know we were going to be talking about Oh, I'm talking about the whole thing, bro. Oh, well then, I don't, I have to form an, a new opinion on that. Oh, where would I even start with that kind of stuff? There's so much. Now, Alex, if you want to start with the COVID, go for it. If you want to talk I mean, about I, how they're overpowered with that or underpowered, I, I, go for it. I think... It's still the government. I, I don't know how to explain it. I think, I guess with COVID, they're trying to do things, and I think maybe sometimes they take it a step too far, or... Or I don't know. Or see, my problem is, is that yeah, the, the government. You may think the government is is overpowered per se, but that doesn't mean you get to sit there and be ignorant to it. I agree, but they shouldn't be able to own me either. Yeah, yeah I know. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be taxing me like Mar or Pennsylvania. I love the fact that they don't tax you on clothes. They shouldn't tax me for that anyway. Yeah. It's a necessity. If I don't have clothes, you guys can find me for not having clothes. I can just... exactly see now. Now the picture's coming. You see, you need to be in this discussion earlier. Exactly. I don't have clothes, and then I go out naked. Next thing, I'm fine because I don't have clothes. Well, don't tax me on it. Don't 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 charge me for something. Like again, the reason I I want to bring up this whole overpowered government is because. We sit there and I, I bought a house. I gotta pay property tax, plus taxes on top of that, plus more taxes on buying myself for for living here, for food. Oh, uh, bro, that's fucked up. Bro. Like they wanna tax me for taxing me for living, for okay. taxing, for taxing me, for taxing. I, I can understand being taxed property taxes if the money got put back into the local economy. Like, look, we're going to take your tax money, and we're going to better your community with it. I will not stand by that. The only reason is because if I buy my property, it should be mine. The government don't own this fucking land. Sorry or not sorry. It's the person who had it first. Instead of taking something, it needed to be bought. Well, I'm just saying, like, if you wanted to compromise with it, I think if the government was like, look, we're going to make you pay property tax, but we're going to use that to better your personal community, I think that would be a reasonable compromise. It would be, it would be reasonable, but this world is not reasonable because yeah, exactly. the white man stole from the Indian. And now all of a sudden, it's theirs and not mine. What? Where can you get off saying this is your land? Motherfucker, I don't see your goddamn name in the stone. To me, this is... It's Earth. It doesn't say U.S. government anywhere in my fucking dictionary. It says Earth. You fucking own a solar system next? Can I not buy a star? Can I not have... Like, can I not say, well, I like that star. I want it to be mine. Like, motherfucker, do you own a goddamn moon? Do you own the sun? What else do you fucking own, government? Tell me. I would love to know because I don't want to step on your toes. You're going to shoot me or put me in jail for something I didn't know, know that you had. But the next thing I know, I buy this property. I'm like, I'm, I'm all sitting happy and shit with my 30 acres. Next thing you know, the government comes up, knocks on my door. Hello, we're taking your property today because we want to put a road through here. And I say, nah, don't think so. Now we're going to court for something that I was mine. On paper was mine. Because we all want to be reasonable, right? So nowadays, the reasonable is you write it down on a piece of paper, you say it's mine, you better put it in there that it says, fuck you, government, you can't take my property because it's mine. Now that ain't gonna work. Because the government has their hand in every fucking thing that you do. 
So, yeah. If I'm gonna pay property tax, it's fucking mine. If I'm gonna pay any tax, it's fucking mine. Taxes is a good idea if done right. But it has to be done right, just like communist. A communist country is good, but it has to be done perfect. But that's the problem. Ain't nothing ever gonna be done perfect. Damn commies. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, if they're gonna take my land and I pay property taxes, okay, you're gonna reimburse me all the taxes that I've ever spent on this fucking land, plus buying my property, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the list of how much it cost. How about that? Because to me, my property right now, hmm, I think it should be worth a million dollars. Because it's mine. You see what I'm saying? But no, the government's going to say, well, I'm going to just give you what you paid for it. And that's it. That shouldn't be the way it is. If I put myself in debt to buy this property, they need to give me the money that is, it's worth. You see what I'm getting at? We don't live in a, a communist country, but we do live in a do or die society full of choices. Dude. That's, yeah. That is perfect. Me and Wade argued the other day about why I believe, and if you went to the school that I did, they actually said that the best form of government is a communist country. If it is done right. I'm not saying China is doing it right. Let's get that out of the fucking or air Russia. right now. Or Russia. I'm not saying that it's done right. But one leader is good if it's done right. Only if it's done right. But again, that's a very uh, big gray area there. Yeah, because uh, you're going to always have a corrupt politician. And as soon as you give someone power, since this was proven in a scientific research study, if you give people power... They will abuse it. And that More is why I say state-wide laws Bro, look at that abuse it. I just you. <laughs> they abuse... The state government abuses the laws too... too much. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is... What's going on? Is it that funny? It reminds me when... Who was doing it? Zoe was doing it to Lila. Like, she was, like, biting her back like that. It's very strange. This is a commercial, so everyone can have some fun looking at that. It's very weird, though, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that is very weird. I was dying. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Power is corrupt, absolute, and absolute power corrupts. Dude. <laughs> Max, I'm not gonna lie, I Max will do that to your ears if he wants to play. Uh huh. I Max had, do that I had a thing I used to say all the time, and I just can't remember it for the life of me. Zoe's on the couch too. Too many laws. Yes, too much laws. They're like, but Max come too much power. Couch. Too much power comes too much chaos. Chaos is where people are just tired of the laws, tired of, of being ruled. Nobody wants to be ruled, okay? Again, it should just be a suggestion, like a speed limit. To me, I, I'm just gonna say it. To me, I don't agree with the speed limit. It needs to be a suggestion. Again, that's just because I believe in a, a federal law saying all speed limits are, are this. Towns are this. You know, interstates, 80 miles an hour. Uh, towns, 30. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Schools, 15. You know, just make it simple. With with all these other states just having so many fucking laws, and then a lot of people that work, like, or live, or work in a different state, has to travel in a different state, there's so much things that can just go wrong. I'm not saying we need to abolish every fucking law in this, in this country. I'm just saying, make it easy. And, and don't don't rule somebody. Don't don't say they can't do this or can't do that to an extent. 
Again, there's a lot of gray area with what I'm saying, but I just, I don't have the words right now to describe it. You know, don't, don't hold me in contempt of court because I said the, the F word too many fucking times. I just said the F word and then said fucking in the same sentence. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but see, it's just, it's who I am. It's the way I talk. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna change, I'm not gonna change in front of the judge. Why, why do I have to change who I am? I'm just gonna sit there and I'm gonna spit facts. That's what's gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. If I ran a red light. bars. You're gonna spit bars at them. Exactly. If I ran a red light and I got caught and I got pulled over, the judge comes to me and says, did you run a red light? I'd be like, yep, yep, I did. That's my fault. You know, I done fucked up, bro. Sorry. You know, I, I, I'll i take it, you know. They they called me red-handed. I ran the fucking red light. I'm, I'm so sorry. People make fucking mistakes. Rules and laws were destined to be broken, and I've heard there's order and chaos, in my opinion. There could be order and chaos, but a once a very great man named Galileo Galilei says he studied the uh, solar system. He went against the church. All his stuff was burned. Okay, but he said this, and it always stuck with me. The Earth spins around the sun. It takes a certain amount of days, as we all know nowadays. But he also said that the Earth's rotation is chaos. Science and chaos do not mix. Chaos eventually erupts into a like disaster. He says rule and chaos are different only because a rule is something set in stone. Water in the freezer turn or if it's freezing turns to ice, ice in a certain temperature turns back to water. There's no other thing. There's nothing to ever change that. It's a rule. Right? But if the earth, like he studied, spins, but doesn't spin, how, how did he put it? The earth spins at a certain amount of speed and it wobbles on its axis. However, it doesn't wobble the same. It doesn't have the same speed. Eventually, we're going to just spin off into fucking the solar system. I'm sorry. If you like the bathroom, so you're retarded. That shit stinks. What? That shit in the bathroom stinks. That honey stuff? Wildfire. Wildfire. How high are you, Tay? <laughs> you don't see that on your YouTube video. Doesn't your mom watch it? No. Not all of them. If we're like two hours and thirty minutes into it, if she gets that far out, I applaud you. Anyway, wildflower and honey fucking stink. I didn't say it smelled <laughs> good. I just said I smell I smell it's honey weird. on my hands. Yes, chaos is just a disaster in many forms. If it's not set in stone, it's gonna cause uh, a chaotic feature, which just. It, it, it just ain't good. And that is a scientific fact I'm going to live by because it's set in stone. Order can come in chaos, but at the same time, orders are also meant to be broken. So it's just, we have one big jumble of chaos is all we have at the end of that. Because again, you know, heroes don't always follow orders, right? Uh, I'm saying that because you are a, an ex-military guy, so you you know that sometimes you have to do what isn't in order. You have to go outside your boundary against orders to sometimes become a hero. And of course, sometimes people fail, and then it's, it's just chaos. Yes, it's a double-edged sword. The biggest problem with with everything is is labels you know government has their fingers in everything that we possibly can do 
you can't even go fishing without a license. I mean, that's, you're just fishing. Holy shit, bro. I'm going to a lake that, okay, if, if it was a man-made lake, I understand. But if it was a lake before the government had a had a word in edgewise, why are you gonna fucking find me for for fishing in a lake that was already here before? Man, now that doesn't make sense to me. They might as well just tax the fish while they're at it. Yeah, <laughs> tax the fish. <laughs> hey, you're living you're living in that water, rent free. You're gonna get taxed. Like goddamn. Alex, you got uh, anything to add yet? I'm just, I'm just going. Yeah, that I'm getting the fuck off so I can go finish this coaster. Oh yeah, she's finishing wow. my coaster. <laughs> so we're losing Alex, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to bring in Mad Russian or not. Let's well, because I know he wanted to add some points, yeah. and I'm trying to. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> let me let me look up some stuff here. Let's see. Be easy, big dog. <laughs> Alright, Ethan, anything you wanna to add to the I know you think the government's overpowered, I don't even have to ask you your opinion. What is your okay? Here's a good question for you. What do you think is the biggest thing they're overpowered in? Like law wide, anything. Where do you think that they're just overstepping? Well, one of the big ones I think is they're stepping into other countries' business. I can 100% get behind that one. Like, we're all worried about, our government's worried about what's happening in the Middle East, and it's just like, I mean, yeah, I understand they have nuclear weapons, but <laughs> we have nuclear weapons. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe their government's just sitting there saying, okay, well, what if one day the United States just wants to bomb us because they don't like us? They're they're thinking the same thing that we think, and that exactly. oh they they could bomb us. They can't us. think that. Yeah, see, they can't think like that. They can't think like we can, right? I one hundred percent can get behind that, especially when they see the president change so much. It's like okay, I think in um, I want to say Italy, it changes every seven years, not four. But still, you sit there and you see, you know. Donald Trump. Everyone, everyone's hating on Donald Trump, right? So that's gonna get out in the media. It's gonna get out everywhere, worldwide. Communication is the most number one powerful thing nowadays. You can get a, you can get an email sent from America to the Middle East in a second. So it's like communication has such a big deal with this, and they see that, oh well, everyone's hating on Donald Trump. He must be a bad president. What's he gonna do to our country? Uh, let's see, Afro says we gotta have the upper hand. Um, Pocahontas says they all just assholes with too much power. I mean, <laughs> that is so true. I 100% agree with that. I mean, I I'm not gonna say we got we gotta have the upper hand, but. It makes us feel safer if we do, I'm not gonna lie. It makes me feel safer. Yeah. You know, we already nuked a country, what the fuck? You ain't gonna nuke us back, cause we got nukes too. We were the first one to drop it, we proved it. Ew. <laughs> if I wasn't in the USA, where would I be? Tokyo. Why Japan or Sweden? 100%. I think about that quite a bit. Thank you. I only like, Japan because they're more organized over there, you know. Everything, everything is more organized. The only thing I think I'd miss if I lived in Tokyo, I don't think they have a lot of red meat, hamburgers, you know. 
love my hamburger. It's American. Fuck. So Mad Rosen has a system update. We'll party. See him in a bit. Oh. I can't wait to see what he has to say. Come to Canada, we're all mics up. I have, I, I have thought of um, Canada as well. I just feel like Tokyo because I'd be away from all the most of the bullshit and have to learn a complete new language. After I says he'd be in Amsterdam or Canada. Hey, yeah, you know what? Let's just change something. Where would you be then if you couldn't live in the USA? I would love to live in the middle of absolutely nowhere where there is no one around me. <laughs> Off the grid. Brazil. Off the grid. It'd be Brazil. Bra Brazil. <laughs> I'm going to move to Cuba. Cuba? <laughs> you know, if I moved to Cuba right now, I would probably be one of the richest people there. Probably. I have... Yo, I fucked with that. <laughs> What, Brazil? I'm just, I'm just gonna spend my days in Cuba. I'm just gonna smoke some Cuban cigars every day and just. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't mind Brazil either. That'd be like a, a top ten choice for me. <laughs> Brazil only because it's really beautiful and you can literally live off the grid there. Yeah. I know part of. Fuck! I'm in a treehouse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just go, go move, go move to South America in the jungle. You know where like all those tribes live. <laughs> live with them, <laughs> bro. If you really want to live off the grid, like fucking Antarctica. Bro. Again, let's let's talk about worldwide government for a second. We none of us can actually live in Antarctica. Yeah. Why, motherfuckers? Y'all own it? Cause I live here. I mean, like. Why y'all gotta own it? <laughs> what? It's uh, shit crazy to me, bro. Maybe there's something going on there. You never know. Maybe they all fucking have a fucking... Fuck it. <laughs> oh my god, too damn cold. Bro, maybe they're all having a powwow down there and sucking each other's dick or something. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in Antarctica, but why the fuck can't I live there? I can't even get a ticket there unless I'm a scientist. What? Or by government, fuck. That's just stupid to me. Like, what? What about the people? I, I just watched um a show on Amazon. I think it was Amazon. What was that called? Mankind. What was the title of it? Just mankind. The story of all of us, mankind. Like y'all need to. Was that on Amazon? Uh, yeah. That shit's on Amazon. Go watch it. Okay, it is so good. I, I couldn't stop watching it, honestly. But, like, the people that went out and surveyed the land, that, I mean, they didn't claim it. They just went out there and were like, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really cold down there in Antarctica. We ain't going to go down there. We ain't got the ships. But why can the government say that we can't live there? I just, it just mm, blows my mind. Alaska is beautiful. I've heard many people that live there. I've mm -hmm. had... Three or four fr of my friends live there. They post pictures all the time. Well, at least the one guy still lives there. I'm not going to get about names either. But I I really... You guys got to just stay tuned. Stay for a little bit more because... Mad Russian says he's got some things to bring with us. I think there are otherworldly things there. Probably. I just, I don't agree with the whole fact that I can't just go down there because I want to. It's, I, I gotta be a special person. What? <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks, I'm not special to you guys. To me, I'm, to the government, you're just a number. They don't know, they don't know. What's your, what's your middle name, Ethan? Michael? Thomas. Oh, Ethan Thomas Dyke. They don't know Ethan Thomas Dyke. They know him by his social security number. I'm not Christopher Allen Murdoch. Which is, uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> What's your social security number? <laughs> Hold on, let me write this down. <laughs> because it's like, that number controls your entire destiny right there. Yep. Someone gets a hold of that, that number and you can be fucked. Yep, if you lose that number, 
Which I agree with the system of numbers to... Because I ain't going to remember everyone. Yeah. But it's just... That's all we are. Everyone. I mean, if we're going to be talking about the government being overpowered, let's go back to the whole Indian cowboy shit. It wasn't a number back then. It was their kind and this kind. Why didn't they get along? Because someone didn't want to give up their territory who was there first. Who claimed that land. But no, someone has to take it. Again, the three things that causes a war, religion, greed, or I should say territory, and power. Everyone wants the power, everyone wants the territory, and religion is just a whole other subject. There we go. Let's just go back to the cowboy times. No laws. We just we uh, we bust open that salute. We spit in that spittoon. <laughs> to we got our we got our clanker boots on that jingle every time we take a step. Big ass belt buckle. <laughs> or just like howdy. our six shooters on the side. Pew pew. <laughs> howdy. Just imagine what life would be like nowadays if we didn't have all this technology. We didn't have working cars. Oh, man of the hour. Prostitutes oh! were the true innovators of the wild, wild west. Damn. Yeah, there, Murdoch. What up, buddy? Not too much. How do I sound? Well, you Christopher Boy. <laughs> yeah, the new headset. I don't really know how the settings are yet. You sound like one sexy motherfucker. Ooh. Prostitutes were the innovators of Wild Wild West. Yes, they actually were. They actually were. I mean, they knew how to make a an easy dollar. Or a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, Afro. You're not wrong. I'll agree with that 100%. This is very true. Again, greed, though. I mean, you gotta think of the greed. Well, I'm gonna go now. I feel like I'm the only female. Oh, Poker, you can't go. It's gonna get real now. Mad Russian's in the party. Mad We're actually Russian. on the government stage now. We're two hours and 40 minutes in on my podcast. <laughs> we stalled yeah, long straight. enough for you to join. Yeah, I ran into traffic and some bad weather. But and now. It. And now we're gonna end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning, everybody. No, <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> so what Matt, we it was great having about, you here. <laughs> what we talked about was some pretty deep shit. I said personally, there shouldn't be no state laws. It should just be all one, clear across the board. And now I know a lot of people ain't gonna get down with that, only because you know. I just know people, <laughs> but it's just yeah. to me like I was I was kind of doing traffic laws more or less like state state speeding. Okay, like so here in Pennsylvania it's 55 unless otherwise posted. Bro, that makes the whole state easy. Yeah. Right. And like I like I was telling them, you get to a new state, you don't know the laws. I mean, you move states, right? You move from Texas to uh, Arkansas, right? Yeah. You didn't know that. You didn't. You probably didn't know the laws when you moved right away no it's a whole different ball game when you move states and that's what i'm saying if if it was one thing nationwide just our government says hey these are the laws buddy just make it simple for everybody that's what yeah, i was saying yeah it should be controlled federally like at least with certain things just a whole blanket yes. ball. i'm glad you got down with that one i was like man i don't think my russian gonna agree with that one but okay it was like i, I was telling well, the New Jersey just got rid of the, the death penalty. I do, why? I don't know. I, I, don't, I agree with it, but I know some people don't. Yeah. Uh, that's just the whole thing, especially with what's going on right now. If you give states their own power, you're going to have states that overreact, and you're going to have states that underreact. 100%. Now, you couldn't say it. That was beautifully said, bro. When it, com when it comes to something like this, I hope I don't sound weird. I put a sock on, but uh, when it comes to uh, <laughs> when it comes to locking down the country, it should be locking down the country, not locking down each state. Yep, I agree. Everyone says they're lagging. Oh shit, that's not good. 
Yeah, I agree. Have you, you tried dial up? Dial up. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, like, okay, so let's talk about the the we went from COVID to the government being too overpowered. People's getting fined because they're not wearing masks. To me, that's a little overboard, bro. Yeah, I've I, I've already been kicked out of two truck stops for not wearing a mask. That's ridiculous. Yep. And I, I said the same thing about seatbelt. You know, it should be the driver's choice or the passenger's choice because 38% of people have died with wearing a seatbelt because they couldn't get out. Exactly, dude. I don't want to fall in a fucking lake. Uh, <clears throat> a natural lake. By the way, not a man-made oh, man. lake. Because we was also talking about fishing. You know, you can't fish oh, without Jesus. a license, and then you get fined and tagged, and all of this bullshit is like, okay, wait a minute, time out. Did you make this lake government, or did Mother Nature's leave this lake here for me to use and you to fuck off? Yeah. Again, there's to me, there's a whole there's a whole list of opportunities I could say. But oh, what yeah. I'm saying is like, thirty eight percent. Or thirty-eight percent of people have died because they couldn't get out, or they got strangled. Like that should be that should be the choice of whoever's in the car, yeah. not not. Hey, you know where your seatbelt? Because in Maryland, I can tell you exactly what happened in Maryland. It was a secondary offense, meaning you couldn't get pulled over because you didn't have a seatbelt. How long was it? About a year, maybe, Ethan? That they made it a primary offense? Yeah. Um. Fuck off. <laughs> Well, in my world, you know, being a trucker, uh, what do we call them? What do we call them? It's uh, state, uh, state revenue chasers. State That's revenue all... chasers? <laughs> That's pretty much all they do. He's talking about the police, but by the way, everybody. State revenue chasers, the DOT. I'm, as a truck driver, I'm regulated to so many. Th meticulous as hell. They... I need that charger. Oh, that's a fifty to hundred dollar ticket. All right. Fuck. I'm down the road, have no damn now. lights. The doors falling yeah, they off. Have... All right. Well, hopefully I can get this back. Alex has to take all my chargers from me, so then when I gotta use them, I don't have any can go sailing down the road 100 miles an hour, no fucking problem. I got one light out, I'm getting a ticket. That was the best description I've ever heard for a windshield. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I missed about half that because my oh, battery died. Oh, you missed it! <laughs> you missed it! <laughs> Damn it, Murdoch. I mean, I missed it, but my... Sh I don't know if my stream picked it up or not. You you gotta go back and listen to it. It was great. I hope to stream God, but I don't think. Let me know, viewers. Did, did you guys get everything that Mad said? Because my controller died, so I'm assuming you didn't. But Alex has to take my chargers all the time. It did. Okay, good. <laughs> Two hours and 43 minutes. You gotta remember that. But, uh... Another thing is, uh, when we're going down the road, if we see a, a cop on the side of the road with a car, you know, writing him a ticket or something, or even a truck or whatever, we'll go down the road and we see another truck come, we'll get on the radio and say, hey, uh, mile marker 32, uh, westbound side, you got a bear with a customer. A bear with a customer. <laughs> I've heard this talk many times. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean... But see, now, you know, now here's the thing. You guys got CBs. Now, in a car, if y'all flash my lights and say there's a cop, I get fined for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, some states, uh, like out west, I, I know parts of Nevada, the cops will actually have, you know, uh, portable CB radios and monitor channel 19. And if they catch you and they figure you out, they'll write you a ticket. Yep. I've heard about that. They do. I think they do that in Virginia, too. They yeah. have something fucked up. Dude. Ethan, in Virginia, there's people that, there's cops that hide in trees to catch you speeding. What? What? Virginia's the worst state to speed in. 
what like they they pull their car behind trees and no, they just no, sit there. No, no, they're in the trees and they radio to the the cop down the road and say, "Hey, this guy here." What the fuck? <laughs> my dad, my dad went down the road one day and he pointed one out. I'm like, "Are you fucking serious, bro?" I said, "Are you fuck?" He's literally camouflaged up in a fucking treetop, looking like a goddamn parrot sitting up there, pointing cars out. I'm like, "This." is this ridiculous, bro. What about the dude right behind you? Is probably selling heroin in the fucking apartment or some shit. <laughs> right. Like, okay, yeah, catch me for speeding, you dickhead. I said oh. to me, I said speeding should be okay. If you make it a federal law where every state, and I believe every state, should have a fucking driver's test that you have to pass. Because driving is a privilege. I hate to say it as much as it hurts my soul to say, driving <laughs> anywhere is a privilege. Because it wasn't yeah. a, a natural thing that happened to the caveman. He didn't have a car, so it's a it's a oh, man made yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Ferrari. Oh, Ferrari. I call it Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mo Moses cruising down the fucking uh, <laughs> the channel with his Lamborghini. He's crossing the Red Sea in a, <laughs> <laughs> a fucking car boat. <laughs> but seriously, like I, I think it should be a federal law where every state has to have a driver's test. All right. So make it where there's no speed limit. There's certain speed limits, you know, in towns, schools, interstate stuff like that. But make it where if you do go over the speed limit, it's not a fine or jail time. It's if you kill somebody. If you happen to cause an accident because you were going too fast. Trust me, there's physics out here nowadays that will prove that you were going too fast and you killed somebody. It's literally science nowadays. If you hit somebody going 85 miles an hour, there's somebody out there that will say, well, you were going 85 miles an hour and a half. And you hit this car going 85 miles an hour. There's people out there that will fucking know that because it's, it's math and science all combined. Yeah. So if you cause an accident, that should be on you. That should be your charge. And you know you know what's wrong. You shouldn't get a speeding charge for it. You should just get a, a, a fucking attempted suicide or attempted murder or, you know. Uh, involuntary manslaughter. Yes. All right, boys. Well, I gotta get off. I gotta get up for work again. Damn it, Ethan. Oh, I'm sorry, man. It's all right. I, Bye, I joined the party late. <laughs> Goodbye, Chris. Remember I'm gonna send you, you a list of podcast ideas. Sweet. Can't wait. For the future. So. All, all right. right bye viewers, bye. Go follow him, the Glow Boy, on YouTube and Twitch. Thank you for uh, joining us, Ethan. And peace out, buddy. James. James Legends. Later, dude. Oh. Bye bye. And it is back down to two people in the party. The two owners of Colossal. Oh, and I was telling him um, we combined a little bit with the fam clan. I call them the fam clan. Oh, uh, Gigi's party? Yep. I love it. It's nice. awesome. Nice. So, I asked Ethan, I said, what is the, the number one thing that you think was is overpowered in the government? He said, Worrying about what happens in other countries, and I, I couldn't agree more, honestly. Oh, same. Yeah, I don't. I really don't give a shit what the fuck happens over there. And as much as this is horrible to say, I mean, even civil wars, you know, like North Korea versus South Korea, let them figure it out. Sorry, I don't want to go over there. I don't. Why should people go over there? Other countries fight for them. Hell, when we had our civil war, who the fuck came to help us? Nobody. I know. And, and it's like. What, what baffles me is, I mean, would you, if we started a civil war here, would you want another country helping our government? No. no. Hell no. To, it's just like, leave the countries alone. If they threaten yeah. us, yeah, we can take action. But I also agree that if we are going to war, the government needs to say why, and we should all vote because, you know, this country is a democracy, so why not make it a democracy? Like, uh, me and Alex had a, a deep discussion, the, the Florida shooting. I talked about it last year in one of my podcasts, a Florida shooting where they shot the, the school up, remember? Yeah. Well, that, that guy's living in jail for a lifetime.
me as a yeah. parent, if my son or daughter was shot, I wouldn't want to pay for him. And then no. she got on the mic and said, well, there is some people that show mercy. They want to show mercy instead of giving him the death penalty. So I said, okay, then make it a democracy. The country wants to be a, a democratic state, make it. Vote for literally everything. What, what's, what, would, what would be so wrong with that? Right. I mean, there's certain things that we can't vote on. But yeah, exactly. I like understand what you're saying there. Yeah, but stuff like that, fuck yeah, dude. I, I, I'd be voting all day long to hang that motherfucker up. And I think it should, like, in that scenario, I think it should be just the victim's parents or the victim's, you know, guardian. The the community. Spike. I because just took the sander to him. Oh. I gotta polish him, but I'm not doing that today. <laughs> Go on. Um, um, since, since he shot up the school in that area, you know, that, that affects more than just the parents and the students uh, and the yes, teachers. Yes, yes. You know? Everyone in that community should get the right to vote what happens to the guy. And, and not set it up within, like, not have a whole bunch of paperwork that goes with it. No, just next day or, you know, maybe after the funeral services, vote. Yeah. Not have a whole fucking spew, not a fucking year-length trial. No, motherfucker, vote. It's yeah, up to the, the people, long- do you live or not? Yeah, because the, the longer you draw it out, the more it's costing the taxpayers money. And it's the taxpayers of those people that, that had the kids that he murdered. Dude, that is, that is perfect, man. Why aren't we running for government, bro? Why can't we just run the fucking United States? I think we'd make one hell of a team, bro. Well, for one, we're too young, and second, we're not female. Pretty well, yeah. Honestly. Ten and, more and that's- years and then we'll be set. And I don't understand that either. You know, there's a there's a limit to run for presidency. Why? I, I don't get that. Because I mean, we live on the same fucking planet, and that's what I was telling Ethan and everyone. I was like, why? Like, are they gonna say that they own the moon next? I can't go to the moon <laughs> because the government owns it somehow. We can't go to Antarctica because they it's a it's a that's a worldwide government that decided on that. Yeah, that's that's a what? stupid thing. Maybe they're having a fucking a powwow down there fucking each other and saying how shitty their citizens are. Like, who fucking knows what they're doing down there? Right. Can we get a satellite on that? Oh, I bet you not. I bet you the government controls that. No, the only satellite images you can see of Antarctica are just the rim. And what's funny is, let, let's talk about the, the privacy of it. They can look in my window, but I can't look in theirs. Exactly. They can have a There's satellite no- 10,000 miles away, but I can't. Yeah, there's no transparency when it comes to us seeing what they're doing. And it's just By weird God, because I thought we lived on the same right. fucking planet. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I, I was also explaining. Um, I know we're kind of going backtrack a little bit, stream, but I'm catching him up a little bit. Property taxes. No. Oh, oh that. man, that was a great conversation. Alex explained, you know, what she thought about it, which you know she's playing devil's advocate, can't can't complain. And I said. Okay, but if I'm paying property taxes, it's my fucking property, and if the government wants to take it, I'm going to say, uh, no, it's mine. Unless you're going to pay yeah. the price that I think it should be worth, and give me all my taxes back that I paid on it. Exactly. Which right now I mean, wouldn't be a lot, but... Yeah. Like, here's the thing. If Okay, you're buying a, you buy a house, right? You buy the land that's on it, you have to pay property tax for the, for the house and the land. What the fuck does that money go to do? You know, if your septic tank ruptures, if there's a fucking uh, sinkhole, if a tornado hits your fucking house, the government's not going to say, hey, you know, you put this money away for paying property tax, we're going to help you rebuild. Nah, fuck no, you're on your own. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what Alex said. You know, if it goes to the community, she can understand property tax. So I'm like, all right, let's say I own 30 acres and it's mine. Next thing you know, the government comes up and they knock on my door and say, hey, uh, we're going to take your land because we're going to build a road through here. The minute you say no, uh, okay, now you're going to court. Um, you could... Did, did your controller die again? Yes, for some reason it's not charging. Damn. But, yeah, I hear you, you know. They, they'll take you to court, then they'll drag that shit out, then they'll... They'll drag court out long enough so that you don't have any money left. Then they just say, screw it, and declare imminent domain and take your land e- and, uh, either way. Yeah, and that happened to the farm that I used to work at. They said, um, they were saying that they were going to pay a dollar for it because he wasn't, they wasn't, there was no negotiating. Yeah. I'm like, that's fucked up, you know? You're talking about a farm. You could have made a lot more money with 
how much field they had, but no, they had to cut right down the middle. Jesus Christ. But it's like, I, I took it way back, bro. I took it back to the fucking Indians. Like, oh. <laughs> what the Indians fought for what they thought was theirs because it was here first. They were. Yeah. So, obviously, there's going to be a fight over that. Yeah. So, to me, the government just, hey, they fucked up, man. I, I just don't believe they, they shouldn't have this much power. No, they really shouldn't. That's why I, I'm a big advocate for uh, limited government. Limited government. And, and again, I, I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but uh, a lot of government classes and scientific studies have shown that uh, a man who has all the power is the best form of government. However, it needs to be perfect. And I mean, that is a very stressed thing. When they say, like a communist state, it's a best yeah. form of government. If it is perfect, it has to be done right. Yeah. I agree with yeah, you 100%. Yeah, that's why they say communism is, the per is perfect on paper. But in practice, because there's so many variables, especially with people that, you know, get a big ego, shit just goes downhill real quick. Exactly. And that's exactly what Ethan said when I, I made that statement. And, again, I'm not going to disagree because that's the way I feel. You know, yeah. it could be done right, but it has to be done right. There is no, no fuck-ups in that. Yeah, and as sad as, sad as it is to say, if the uh, the barrier for entry on communism is perfection, then that means no human will be able to will ever be able to accomplish. It. Yep. And what's what's sad though to me is it <clears throat> as much as this country is uh, a democracy, it, it's to me it kind of slowly turning right now because it's like I, I know it, we're not communists, but think of the think of it in in my view for a second. So. Yeah. You go fishing in a, a, a public lake that's not man-made, and you get fined for it. Okay, that's the money yeah. that you earned. They're taking money that you earned. They might not be like, it's not a harsh judgment like uh, maybe China would have, but they're taking the money that you earned. And I said, nowadays, you depend on that money to live off of. Yeah. So, in a way, where where is it any different? You're, you're doing it's... what you think is peaceful, that Mother Nature gave you the, the fish in someone's, you know, lake that no one should own. And they're making you pay because you were fishing there. Or you have to have a license, which I, I don't know. It's just... Yeah, now, now it's a different story if it's a man-made lake and it's stocked by somebody. You know, yes. they, put, they buy the fish and put it in. Fine, whatever. I'll pay you for your fish. You can put more fish in it. But as far as a natural lake See, that has its own, that has it, later Afro, that has its own natural, uh, you know, source of fish coming in and out, why the hell are we paying for that? Yeah, I mean, I again, I can understand it man-made, but once it's like, once it, you know that it's not man-made, then why, why do we have to pay for that? Exactly. Because again, the government shouldn't own anything that has been here first and that's why we'll never get a past property tax it'll it'll just never to me it's mine because i bought it off someone who owned it before me vice versa it went goes on down the line you know what i'm saying yeah the government should have no right to any of that land oh speak speaking of tax dude sales tax in general i'm not talking about going to buy a bag of doritos and you pay your extra 20 cents or whatever no i'm talking about buying a car whether you buy it new you buy it a year old used or you buy it 20 years old used every time every time that transaction happens you go to register it you got to pay property to sales tax on it why yeah I, I, that just baffles me too I mean you know I get it sales tax on the first time when it's brand new just like every new item should but I'm not gonna go out and sell my fucking underwear for five bucks and charge sales tax <laughs> Well, it's like, okay, here in PA, they don't, they don't tax um, clothes because it's a necessity. Yeah. Like, Alex brought up a good point, okay? Of course, it, if I'm a, they shouldn't tax clothes because I'll go outside naked and I get fined. 
You know, that's, that's, yeah. a, that's a felony. What's up, Afro? What's up, what's up, fellas? I'm saving my money. I don't know if I have a meter on this PlayStation. Yeah, but uh, I'll be back in like an awesome. hour or two. I have to go take care of something real quick. I'm saving I, it. Well, I know you wanted an invite, so before you got off my stream, I was like, oh, I'll just hurry up and invite you. That way you had the invite in case we're still here. <laughs> yeah, you gonna, you gonna, you guys gonna be on for a minute? Yeah, I'll be on for a while. Yeah, I'll be on. Uh, the podcast might end here shortly, but that's about it. All right, cool. Cause I'm really I'm gonna take some care of something real quick. It might take me like two hours. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'll be back. All right, buddy. Sounds good. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. But yeah, like they they stick their fucking head, nose, everything. They stick it everywhere with what we have to do, and it just yeah. they have way too much control, especially over these gun laws. Like, okay, it literally says in the amendment. It doesn't say anything about muskets or anything. It just says the right to bear arms, and it's against tyranny. Like, it is against the government being too overpowered. So, like I said to Ethan, if a fucking military guy can carry an M4, so can we. Exactly. And I don't give a fuck that he's licensed or what. What, what has that have to do with anything? It's like, it's like going to church and saying you believe the guy that went to... Uh, school because he wears a robe. No, man, he's still another human to me. They still fuck up. Some of them still molest children. I don't give a fuck that you have a robe. I'm not gonna listen to you. So it's gonna be the same thing with the military. I don't care that you have a license. Like if if you are carrying one in the military, I should be able to carry one too. Plain and simple. Exactly. Exactly, man. I'm not gonna now, sit there and say explosives. You know, I think you know maybe you should have a license for that. <laughs> well. I think you should be able to use explosives up to a certain, you know, tonnage. True. But I'm like RPGs and grenades and stuff. Like, I think you should have a little bit of experience because that's not really uh, the right to bear arms. That is that is now explosive. <laughs> that is not yeah. a gun. That is, a, that is an explosive. <laughs> yeah. So there should be a little uh, fine line for that. Yeah, I think you should be able to own whatever the hell gun you want. And, you know, I'm, I'm cool with background checks and all that shit. Make sure you're not fucking but, insane in the membrane and <laughs> shit like yeah, that. But, but, I mean, if I want to go out tomorrow, spend $20,000 on a freaking minigun, let yeah. me. What the yeah. fuck? 100%. It's a gun. And, and that's what I said. It did not say anything about owning just muskets and shit like that. It's the right to bear arms. Nowhere in that amendment does it say that they can't own an m4 or uh, a nine millimeter pistol or anything like that it just says the right to bear arms and that yeah. goes that goes for a lifetime that's why they wrote it yeah they they wanted to be specific yet vague enough to... because they knew they knew times like this was going to be coming i guarantee you they knew oh yeah they knew with, that with america was innovative and they were going to have better guns than a fucking musket yeah we weren't going to be blunderbusting our whole lives. I mean, they probably, they might not have expected, like, fucking laser shooters or anything like that either. But... A fucking drone. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the other thing. They, they limit our drone. Like, I go outside, I, I could get fined because I have a drone that goes up too high. What? Yeah, that's stupid. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's my, my shit. Now, if it's, it's, like, a, if it's a, like a plane like they have in the military, okay, maybe I can understand. Like a drone that goes fucking miles at a time. Yeah, but I mean, like a camera drone that can get like at most 100, 200 yards. Shit. It, if you're so concerned about an airplane running into this stupid little drone, maybe you should talk to the pilot to fly fucking higher and stop buzzing the tops off of trees. Not only that, but like... If if they're so technologically advanced, then why are they worried about a little drone? Exactly. Like, they can lock onto my drone and shoot it out of the sky like no problem. So why the fuck yeah. are they worried about it? Maybe they're worried about millions of people doing it at once, maybe. <laughs> With C4 strapped to it or something. Oh, uh, no. It'd be, yeah, it'd be like, uh, remember remember that kill streak from Black Ops 2, The Swarm? Yeah, it'd be like that coming at the Pentagon or something. 
fucking. They're just gonna see uh, everyone in the Pentagon uh, has left the session. Hey, did you want to touch up on the whole um, the COVID crisis too, or no? I know you said oh. you had some things to say, so just just go for it. All right, we talk about anything, everything. Trust me. I'll kind of keep it keep it succinct and calm. The best way I could put it is, it's just like any other virus. There's ways to avoid it. There's ways to catch it. As long as you stay, you keep your hygiene up, you wash your hands, cover your mouth, you know, keep distance from people. <laughs> Bro, how, you, how you fucking hard is that? I said, y'all motherfuckers buying up the toilet paper and all this cleaning stuff. What the fuck did you do before the virus? Like, I'm afraid to shake someone's hand now, bro. Like, did you not wipe your ass when you went to the toilet? They're like fucking people from India that wipe their ass or... It's not someone, one of those fucking. Uh, yeah, countries. yeah, yeah. No, it is. Uh, we had an inspector that did that. He didn't use toilet paper. He used his hand. He's like, why? Because I washed my hands. I'm like, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. God, if it's you like, believe in God, God made paper for you, people to make toilet paper from, and use that. We're innovative now. We're not cavemen. Yeah. It's like now. I'm not gonna lie. It might be easier to pick the corn out of your ass crack with your fingernails. <laughs> but for fuck's sake, use toilet paper. Oh. That, that corn will. That corn will fall out when it's fucking ready. Oh my god, that's funny. But yeah, I've said the same thing. It's like, it, it's literally just wash your hands and well, stay the fuck away well, from me. Yeah, wash your hands, cover your fucking mouth, and get the fuck away from me. Yeah. It's, the, it's, the co it's literally the most common thing to do. And yeah. it's, uh, what? Oh fuck. I've been on this podcast for a while. I'm trying to think of the word now. Common courtesy, there it is. It's common courtesy. Yeah. Don't sneeze in my fucking mouth. Don't touch yeah. me with your hands. You just wiped your ass. And you didn't wash your hands. Better yet, if you touched your face or if you touched your ass, don't touch anything else unless it's a fucking faucet. <laughs> Which I, I have a trouble with that too sometimes. Because I always, I don't know, I have anxiety so I always bite my nails and stuff. But... Well, I mean, that's one thing, but you're not biting your nails and then going to go touch somebody. Yeah, not on purpose. But I barely shake hands nowadays, anyway. Yeah. But we also discussed if it was real or fake. I said it's 50-50. I said that it is, it's clearly real. You know, people dying from it. You got these um, movie stars that are, you know, they're hurting over it. Um, sports players, mothers are dying. Um, even streamers like Courage JD's grandmother died from it, and it's like, you know, they're they're spreading awareness now because they they see it. Why would they? Yeah. Why is everyone gonna lie about it? My thing yeah. is, it's the media spreading a whole bunch of bullshit. They're blowing it out of proportion. And we go back to one of my older podcasts where I said to go watch the Unacknowledged. Uh, it's on Netflix. Yeah. They literally say that the government has a finger in every media outlet out there. So if oh, that's the case, guaranteed. then the government's blowing it out of proportion, and there comes the overpoweredness. Yep. How do you earn money? Oh, let's start a pandemic. It's also a great way to push people to a limit to see what you can get away with. Yep. And no one noticed some of the walls have been being passed. Yeah. Like, like uh, everyone... Go ahead. Uh, something in Maryland, they're they're just trying to stricken the gun laws, and they actually passed something that helped stricken them. Like, oh, I was like, Jesus Christ. God damn. And, uh, you know, I re how most people got that $1,200 check, right? Yep. You know, everyone's so happy that they got the money. But what they, people should really, really, really need to be looking into what else was passed in that bill. Yep. Because... There was so many compromises made just to get that check out to people. And Ethan brought up a very good point. Um, a lot of the media is only spread because of fear. So, and then I made the point. I said, okay, you have a very valid point. The virus is made. Uh, fear just took over the world. Yeah. There's no good in the media. So, when the virus was spread, there was fear. When a stimulus check says... Hey, we're gonna give you twelve hundred dollars. No one believed it. Everyone believed the virus was real because of the fear. 
But no one believed that anything good came from the media because no one believed in the you getting twelve hundred dollars until it actually yeah. happened. So yep. a message gets spread through fear instead of any good news. Yeah. You, you, you ever try to report on if ninety if ninety nine percent of the time you're telling people to look at this bad shit happening, the one time you try to report about the good thing that's happening, they're not they're not going to believe you or not pay attention. Yeah, it just kind of falls flat. Yeah. Because like yeah, that that doesn't happen. There's nothing good that happens in this world. It, it's kind of sad nowadays that that happens. Yeah. But he made a very valid point when he said that. Apparently, it's a um. A song from Babe. What's that band he likes? He said the band name that had that song, Nom or I have to ask him. Shit, it's on the podcast, guys. It's just hope you guys watched it on YouTube. If you're this three-hour video is gonna be on YouTube, <laughs> it's probably gonna be taken down because I'm talking so bad about the government. Though they'll find out a reason why it had to be uh, recorded. Come get me, motherfuckers. Exactly. And I told him the same thing. I said, there's even laws out there where you can't even protect your own house. I said, in Maryland, there's no um, self-defense laws. You, someone walks in your house, you can't actually kill them. Right? Uh, it, it, um, yeah, like, oh, uh, over here we have the, the make my day law. Up there you have the duty to flee. Like, you have to make every single attempt to get away before you hit, can even think about defending yourself. Yeah, I think I think PA has make my day law too. It's such is a it, good law. Yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure I have to look at it again. I just moved to a, a new state. I don't know the law. The only law I know is my car gets inspected every year. But that's it. <laughs> I just gotta say, any vehicle I have would never pass a state inspection. Well, and that's the thing. Admi- that's what admissions. me and Afro Afro was on um, my my stream, and he said the same thing. It'd be one thing when you could switch your driver's license over if they give you a packet of the laws of that state. It would make sense then. You know, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to stress out over the federal. You know, one yeah. one clean slate law. You know, yeah. And that would work. I said because the other issue is with um, learning your state laws is, you know, if you did move a state, okay, people. Some people don't have internet access, some people don't have cable access, so how are they going to know the law that they live in? Or, yeah, the state laws that they live in. So if you just make it one clean fucking law across the entire United States, make it so much easier. But, he said, self-defense is a criminal offense nowadays, and god damn, is that true? Yep, you can't defend yourself even if you're about to die. And I just, I warned everything, everyone on my YouTube and on my Twitch, I said, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're uninvited and you walk into my house, you expect to get shot. I don't give a fuck if you're the sheriff that lives down the road. I don't give a fuck if you're the state trooper that lives down the road. And I don't give a fuck if you're the goddamn president. You walk into my house and you threaten me or you say anything, I don't, it's going to happen. Yeah. I'm protecting what is mine. Send me to jail, what the fuck ever. Because apparently half the laws nowadays, they don't have the death penalty, so what the fuck would I be worried about? Right. And if you do have the fucking death penalty, it's only lethal injection, I don't feel a fucking thing. No. And even if you do get the death penalty, it's going to take 25 fucking years before they ever get to you. Yep. Anything else you want to add? Uh... If there's anybody here from South Texas listening to this, watching this, either now or in the future, you guys need to figure your shit out. <laughs> All right, I, I'm I'm heading back down to South Texas in a couple days, and if I get if I get yelled at going into another uh, gas station because I'm not wearing a mask, I'm gonna flip shit. So figure your shit out. Quit panic buying all these medical supplies you know nurses and doctors need them more than you true and another thing another thing if you wear gloves fine but change your change the gloves out every time you do something different and don't use don't... your hands to take them off you're supposed to use your feet <laughs> I, ha- I did learn that one yeah you can do that or the way you're supposed to do it is with your with your gloved with your gloved hand 
pulled pulled the, pull one glove off, but with two fingers still inside that glove, pull pinch the, the cuff off. of the other glove. Yeah, and then pull them in together. So you never touch the outside of the gloves. Get rid of them, and put a new pair on. Don't wake up at six o'clock in the morning, take a shit, put on a pair of gloves, and wear them all throughout the day. That's <laughs> no. disgusting. That is fucked up, and you should go to jail for that. Yes. Oh, and biggest thing, throw them in the trash. In the fucking trash. I don't want to see gloves littered parking lots anymore. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. Don't litter in the first place. Hey. Yeah, but I mean, rubber's even worse because it's not biodegradable. It doesn't go away. Like, I, I hate the fact I go to a goddamn McDonald's, there's a trash can outside. Y'all motherfuckers can't even hit the trash can. You just leave it on the ground. It's like, okay, you done fucked up. Just open exactly. your door and put it in the trash can. All right? Yeah. Hell, mo if most of the most of the trash cans outside of McDonald's have that stupid extension on it, so you don't even have to open your fucking door. And, and what's amazing about that is most of you motherfuckers date trash cans anyway. So what the hell's the difference of it leaving it in your car? <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> hey man, I'm telling you, this podcast. I say whatever I want. I don't give a fuck. It's the way it should be, man. It's a freaking free country. And it's gonna happen next week. Uh, next week too. I just don't know what um, subject I'm gonna have yet. I might be able to be on for it. Remember, I'm always. I always have Discord too, so Discord's always open as well. Hmm. I'll have to. Uh, yeah, then I can just connect up the phone. I have to get a good set of a uh, good mic or something. Then. Yeah. I love these podcasts though, cause I just let everyone have it. Y'all fucking date trash cans anyway, so what the fuck's the difference if it's in your car? <laughs> right. God damn. That's funny. But yeah. One more thing. One more thing. With all this going on, there should be a lesson learned. You know, social distancing is one thing. That's fine and good. But why do you congregate in big groups in small places? Just stop that shit. That and your houses are disgusting. I see some yeah. of these TikTok videos, dude. Oh God! Don't clean even, your yeah. fucking house, bro. Have some respect. I I would not go to a some dude's party and I see their house full of fucking beer bottles and cans and bongs everywhere. It's like, what are you doing? Right. I'm or about to half catch empty roaches can instead of Corona. <laughs> fucking. A half-empty beer can sitting out for two days just smells disgusting. Like, it just baffles me. Or a fucking half-eaten pizza that's sitting there and it's been there till mold grows on it. What, bro? Like, it's a trash can. It's a fucking can, science that. experiment. <laughs> it's a science experiment. How many roaches can I get in this house? And we're not talking about <laughs> fucking 420 roaches. How many roaches can I get in this house? And how many days do I have to leave this sitting out till I can harvest penicillin from the bread? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> but seriously, like, just, just clean, clean yourself up, and then just, just make sure you don't litter either. Cause I, I, when I said this virus was more or less like a, a mother nature just backs, like she just backhanded us. You know? Yeah. If it was a conspiracy, okay. But if it did come from a bat as well, and that's a conspiracy as well, came from a bat. That's still mother nature. Just she's just, here. Take that, assholes. Clean me up. Yeah. Because you see Italy, yeah. you know, their fucking rivers are clear now. There's no smog in China. It's like, literally, Mother Nature is taking care of herself. She just spread a virus and say, there it is. Yeah, fucking nature always correct itself, no matter what. Exactly. Nature always wins. And, uh, you know, the movie The Kingsman, the first one, uh, what's his name? Samuel Jackson made a good point. The virus kills the host, or the host kills the virus. Either way, the outcome's the same. The virus dies. You know? You look at the human population, the rapid growth. It's not going to be sustainable for very much longer. Well, that's your new headset. Yeah. That's fucking beautiful, man. Got a hell of a deal on it. Well, I think I should call it quits on this. So everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. This is episode one, season one. And tune in next week. I will 
keep you guys up to date on my Instagram, so go check my Instagram out. It is in the bottom. Uh, Warren Carr, hello. We are literally just, I'm literally just getting ready to end this podcast. It will be on YouTube. Um, if you're here on Twitch, then go click the YouTube link, click that subscribe button to watch me. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this podcast. Uh, my Instagram is down below. I will leave a link on um, the YouTube as well, just so everyone knows where to catch me on that. Um, anything you guys want in a podcast, write in the comments. Don't be afraid. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.